incredible! Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me for another amazing Merry Marvelite stream. Hello, Jacob. Hello, Lucy. Thank you both for joining me. Hope you're doing well on this wonderful weekend, the sensational Sunday. Hope your week has been good and that everything is chill. Well, speaking of chill, we're going to uh, nix the music here now. The Dire Dire Docs from Super Mario 64. Hey, Master Thief, how's it going? Thank you for joining me. Hello, Sammy. Hope you all are doing well. Today is our monthly demos and discount stream, where we're gonna hold, we're gonna play a whole bunch of random crap 
on the Nintendo Switch. Some of which are just game demos that I thought looked interesting, and I, you know, Lord knows I downloaded a bunch of those because they're free. And uh, some of which are cheapo games that uh, I don't know if I thought they looked interesting as much as I thought. Oh, this cost twelve cents, like Dongo Adventure. I went looking on the shop the other day just to see if I want it to. Uh, if there's anything else like that that I want it to get. Uh, this is the only one that I bought, and I paid 12 cents Canadian for it. Um, so this seems like a good place to start, right? Dongo? We want to want to see Dongo's adventure? Not even Do not even Dongo's adventure. It's just Dongo adventure. Grinding bolts and Ratchet and Clank while listening. Nice, good stuff. I haven't played Ratchet and Clank in a long time. I haven't. Uh, the last one I played was. Ooh, it was the one right before All for One. It was a crack in time, I think. Because that one kind of finished off the story for a bit. That one kind of like tied up all the loose ends. Then All for One was like a weird multiplayer thing. Then I think there was the reboot after that. Um, but now the new one, I think they're just going back to like the uh, back to the story and stuff. Into the Nexus, is that what it's called? Um, is that what I've got? When is that coming out? I haven't been uh, up to date on Crash, or not Crash. Crash I haven't played at all, but Ratchet I'm not up to date on. Anyway, let's check out Dongo Adventure. Said you would get the camera room in Breath of the Wild and that was two days ago. Hey, Blue, how's it going? June? Okay, that's not that far off. I didn't think it was out yet. Oh yeah, that's PS5. That's right, that's right. So I'm probably not going to be able to play that one because I don't own a PS5, nor am I for a while. Also, hey, Cat, how's it going? Let's see, what's, what's Dongo Adventure all about? See, turn the volume down a little bit more on that. There we go. I had to keep an eye on the uh, on the volume for these games because some of them are louder than others. Uh, I guess. Oh, he looks like a puppet. They're not like kind of a puppet doll kind of thing. I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Uh, I guess we'll figure out how to play first. Oh, this is run, shoot, or alternatively. Okay, so this, this just run. I can just run and shoot. Run, jump, and shoot. Jump is B. Shoot is A. Is this is the Mega Man game? What is going on here? Run, jump, shoot. And then move. Okay. That's easy enough. Probably could have figured that out. Let's play the game. Uh, okay. First level here. I paid... Once again, I paid 12 cents for this on the Switch eShop. Oh. Oh, he looked cuter on the main screen. Okay, this is our shoot... Oh, but we have limited cheese. He shoots cheese! I only have so much cheese. This is my run button. Oh. Hang on, this is louder now that I'm out of the menu. Let me turn that down a little bit more. Uh, around there. That looks about right. Yeah, that should be okay. Be, be sure to yell at me if the games are either too loud or too quiet. Huh. Oh god, the flashing is... Uh, I'm, I'm glad I put on my... Uh, oh, I can, gotta go around that. Oh jeez, it's a... Min it's a mesquite. That is a... Hang on. That mosquito is like bigger than this mouse. Slash rat. That's a big ass mosquito. Or I'm just a really small rat. Hmm. Ha! Got it. Hang on, it didn't kill him. Yeah, there we go. I got him. Frame rate seemed to chug for a second there when I killed him, but okay. Oh, there's a spider up there. Oh, we need to con uh, convince Kath play this game because she'll just be terrified the whole time as soon as a spider shows up. I should not be saying that. I love her so much. Uh, eh. Eh. Well, well, I'm out of cheese. We're, we're out of ammo. I said this was Mega Man. I immediately take that back because Mega Man never ran out of ammo. At least not like the regular basic shot. Can I? Oh my god. Blah, 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 blah. Blip, blip, blip. Oh, I did it. Okay. I can just avoid this guy then. Huh. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I guess it's just our basic platformer fear. Get to the end of the level. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Hey, Lena, how's it going? I'm doing quite well, thank you for asking. Huh. How do I... Huh? Maybe I can't go that way? Hang on, just look at... Yeah. I can, like, hover down when I, like, 
stick onto the side of the... Look at that! Look at that! I can't quite get over it, though. Unless this is something. I got tipped the bump! Oh, I can push that! Oh, thank you, helpful cockroach, or whatever you are. I don't know why I said chipmunk. I thought cockroach, and then my mouth came up with chipmunk. Return to Outlast 2 this weekend? Ooh, spooky. Plan on playing as much as you can this week as you're on break? Nice. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh. Well, that was a one-hit kill. Despite the fact that I clearly have a health bar. Jacob, thank you so much for the 12 bits. You can see why this is 12 cents. Yeah, and that was on sale. I think normally it's like a buck 25, which would probably be like a dollar American. Once again, the prices I'm citing are Canadian prices. Oh, Skeeter! Ah! Mm-hmm. I see. Hang on. Wait. Wait. Hang on. Do I have to... Okay, I just gotta wait there. Fantastic. Because, you know, that's that's always the best design in games, when they have, like, a big barrier that you just need to wait for. Aha! Oh. Ah! Oh! E! Ah, hang on. But that's uh, Lucy. Are you are you planning on uh, uh, platinuming Outlast Two or uh, going achievement hunting in that? Because I know that uh, our dear friend in the chat, King in Space, otherwise known as Lucy, is a uh, is an epic gamer who ah, ow, okay, who is very good at like. Uh. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, I'm not. At least the music is good. The music reminds me of, like, N64 platformers. That's that's the only thing about this that reminds me of anything remotely good. Alright. Huh. Huh. Oh. It doesn't even feel good to control. Like, it's not awful, but it's not good either, if that makes any sense. Yeah. No, yeah, the control... Oh. Uh, oh, I can jump on the mesquites and not take damage. That's good to know. Yeah, it's like it just kind of feels not the best. It's like not terrible, but... Uh, yeah, the physics are a little weird on it. At least got more cheese. Ah, there we go. Okay. And, ah! I am upset. I'm disappointed. It would be nice if we can clear the first level. That would be cool. Huh? Aha! I can jump over you. What? Ah, dang it. Stupid red mosquito. How dare you? How dare you damage my rat? Oh. So, huh? Okay. No, we're figuring this out at the very least. We're getting down and dirty in these sewers. Boop. Okay, so, huh? Dang it. No! Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Oh, careful. Huh, gotcha. Ah, ah, oh, oh, you can kill him by stomping on him enough, too. Checkpoint! That was really loud. Uh, that looks like death. I guess I'm going to go up. That seems like the thing to do here. Look, I'm going to keep going in this until it stops entertaining me. Huh? Okay. Huh. Okay. Aha! I did it. I figured it out. I'm so intelligent. Eh. Eh. I feel like I would have been having a slightly better time with this if I didn't have to worry about ammo reserves with my freaking cheese. Excuse me. Oh, those nails were pointy and. Deathly. Ah, oh, dang it. Let's go round again. Uh, ah! Oh, how... Okay, come on. This thing is, like, fighting it. Eh, eh, oh, yeah. Or, alternatively, if the enemies only took one hit to kill... That's not to say that this game is terribly difficult, but... Uh, having the enemies take multiple hits doesn't make the game more challenging, it just makes it more tedious. That's the thing. Uh, 
And I'm not a fan of tedious. I can deal with difficult, but uh, annoyingly tedious is going to uh, lose you some points in my mind. Ugh, there we go! Get out of here, you stupid boyo. See, there was no, absolutely no reason that should have took more than one stomp to kill. No reason what... Oh, that was not a... I'm riding on a burr bottle. That was not a platform. Ah, but you are. Get out of here. You too. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Well, well, no. No. Oh. Gosh dang it, rat, doopy, whatever your name was. Dongus. Dongo. Chongo. Bongo. Bing bang, bongo. Only missing two trophies. You've been trying to beat it on the insane difficulty without reloading the battery. Ooh, that sounds like a tricky one, yeah. And this is why I traditionally don't go for 100% completion on games. But I mean, you know, if you find a game that you uh, enjoy a lot, then yeah, going for 100% completion makes sense. You know, once upon a time, I used to go for completion a lot more. You know, mostly when I was younger and had more times to play games, but... Back then, it was like Banjo-Kazooie and Super Mario 64 and, like, Zelda games and stuff like that. Ah! That kind of enc encouraged 100% completion, so, you know, I don't do it so much. Where was the bottle? How was I supposed to know the bottle was not there? This could be our quitting point now. Uh, I have, I'm pretty sure I've gotten 100% completion on... All the Zelda games up to and including Twilight Princess. So everything up to the GameCube era. I don't remember if I did Skyward Sword, maybe? I don't feel like there was as much to complete in that one, so maybe I did? But I definitely did like Ocarina of Time and stuff. In terms of, ow, like I've got all, I got all the gold skull killers, like I've done runs where I've gotten everything in those games, so. So yeah, I used to be more completionist about stuff. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can figure out how I'm supposed to know when the bottle is scooting by, and uh, and if not, then uh, then woof, might be time to move on. Uh, but yeah, I got a little bit completionist on like the Pokemon games, but. Not really, you know, 100% completion of the whole game, because that's kind of ridiculous in those. There's a lot to do. But uh, in terms of the Pokedex, a while ago I have, uh, I kind of told the story a bit th about this a bit yesterday in that, uh, uh, you know, I was, ah, god damn you spider! Ah, oh, you son of a beasting! Back in the day when, uh, you know, the first Pokemon games I played were like Red and Blue back when they first came out. Like I played Pokemon Red, I had a copy of that. Um, but I was kind of like off the train for uh, Gen 2 and 3. I never really played those when they first came out. Um, uh, but when uh, Diamond and Pearl came out... Uh, da -da. Ooh. When, when Diamond and Pearl came out, uh, I picked up a copy of Pearl and uh, got way back into the whole Pokemon thing. Got way back into the franchise. And, uh, you know, uh, I played the hell out of Pearl. And that made me go back and play... Uh, uh, I played Pearl, and so how do, I, I can't see the bottle. How do I? How do I know? Literally, how do I know? Literally, how do I know? I'm just gonna keep going while I tell this story. Um, yeah, I played Pearl, and like basically fell in love with the franchise again. Um, so I picked up like I got copies of uh, of Leaf Green, like the remake of uh, of Red and Blue. I got uh, I got a copy of uh, Soul Silver, the uh, Gen 4 remake of uh, of Gold and Silver. Uh, I got a copy of I think I got a copy of like Emerald, the uh, the Gen 3 game. So I basically you know replayed Gen 1 with the remake, uh, played Gen 2 with the remake, and just did a legit Gen 3 game. Oh, there we go. Oh no, come on, Dongo. Whatever your name is. Oh, you son of a biscuit. See, I played I, I played those and uh, th through those using like the uh, the in-game mechanics of like transferring Pokemon from one game to the other. Uh, Pokemon Pearl 
became the first game that uh, I got a complete Pokedex in. And, uh, you know, not counting some of, like, the mythical Pokemon, like Arceus and stuff like that that you couldn't get legitimately in-game. But aside from stuff like that, yeah, I got a complete Pokedex in Pearl. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of kept transferring f them forward, and uh, whenever a new Pokemon game came out, I got it and, uh, you know, got all the new... Son of a beast, how am I supposed to do this? Whenever a new Pokemon game came out, I, I got that and got all the new mons and transferred my old ones forward. And, uh, yeah, uh, one thing led to another, and I kind of kept doing that all the way up until, uh, Sun and Moon, which was the last one on, uh, okay, I still did it, with the last one on 3DS. So right now I have my copy of Ultra Sun, like the updated version of Sun and Moon. I've got a copy of Ultra Sun with a, uh, a complete living Pokedex in it. Which, if you don't know what living Pokedex means, it means that I don't just have a complete Pokedex in it. Like, it's not just that I've seen every Pokemon and caught it at least once. I have... Ah, damn it. I have at least one of every Pokemon uh, just sitting in the box in that. Not only do I have one of every Pokemon, but I've got all the regional variants. Uh, shinies I don't have. I never, went all, I never really went shiny hunting. Like, I've got some shinies, but I don't have, like, a complete shiny collection. But I've got all the regional variants... Uh, I've got, like, all the, uh, uh, the gendered variants, like, if a Pokemon looks, like, if basically if a Pokemon has more than one look that you can get in the game, if there's more than one version, then I have every Pokemon in every version, not counting, like, the shiny ones. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, you know, Sun and Moon, or not Sun and Moon, uh, the new ones, Sword and Shield, don't have, like, all of the Pokemon available in it, so I never really bothered to, uh, to transfer them forward into that. And plus, you know, I, I never played Let's Go. Like, I played a little bit of Pokemon Go, but I never got, like, the new one that's available in that. So I think I'm kind of done doing that with Pokemon. Like, I don't think I'm going to uh, uh, continue that train, unless they have, like, a new one, I guess, that lets me bring everything forward and, you know, I'm able to get everything I'm missing. But barring that, I'm just going to kind of leave my complete collection in Ultra Sun and just have it kind of sitting on that card, which might be the best might be the best way to do it because, you know with the uh, with the Switch games and stuff, like the uh, the save data is tied to the actual Switch itself um, where so if anything happened to Switch to the Switch, I would lo potentially lose that save data and lose all those Pokemon. Whereas if I leave them in Ultra Sun, then they're just sitting there in the game card that I can plug into any DS and like say hi to them whenever I want, basically. So I think I'm just gonna leave that there. Just have my copy of Ultra Sun with my complete living Pokedex with all my variants and just be happy that I got that. Also, I am a hundred percent done with this game. We are. That's the end of my story, and that's the end of Dongo Adventure. Dongo couldn't... Re this... The, who? The, the bottle thing is, like, you can't rely... Maybe I'm missing something there, but I feel like you cannot see the goddamn bottle. Never really been super into the Pokemon games. We've only played a, f a few games. Yeah, I, I can see that. I mean, they're probably not for everyone, but I, I do enjoy them. And it also comes, you know... For me personally, it probably also stems from the fact that the first, you know, like, Pokemon trainers are supposed to be, like, 12 years old or whatever when they start, like, 10 or 12. Like, basically, I was the age of a starting Pokemon trainer, like, right when the first game came out. So, I, I was I was literally, like, prime, like, exact target demographic for Pokemon Red and Blue as soon as they came out. And I was like, okay, well, this is... This is genetically modified to be exactly my jam, and then I loved it. Like, po Pokemon Red slash Blue is still one of my personal favorite video games. It is my, it's like my comfort game that I can sit down and play whenever I want and not, like, I know that, like, the other Pokemon games, I, I wouldn't be able to speed run per se, but that one I know pretty well, like, back to front. What's the Monopoly demo like? I downloaded the Monopoly demo because I like Monopoly. Let's see what the, uh, what this is like. I've seen, like, this version of Monopoly, like, played, like, on Game Grumps and stuff like that, but, uh, I don't know, is the demo just gonna throw us against, uh, some AI companions? I wonder how long the game is going to last. It's just gonna be, like, a forever demo. It'll last, like, an hour. We'll see. Ubisoft, goddammit. 
Those guys that had all those allegations of sexual mis misconduct? Well, I didn't pay for it, so we don't need to feel bad about it. Select language. Do we want English or do we want British? You know, we'll go with British English just so they'll put the U in color. And all the Americans can uh, can just feel bad about that. Go with proper British English. Get some tea and scones. That's, that's the thing about living in Canada, is that sometimes we do things the, like, sometimes we say and do things the American way, sometimes we do things the British way. Um, we, uh, uh, in terms of, like, distance and stuff like that, like, we measure heights in feet and inches, but we measure, uh, like, distance driving in kilometers. Uh, thank you for playing the Monopoly for the Nintendo Switch demo. The playtime for this demo has been restricted to 30 minutes. Demo time remaining 30 minutes. Okay, so we got a half hour max on this. Uh, play Monopoly. All right. Well, yeah, I'm assuming we won't be able to do online. Yeah. And we will Okay, the demo's not... The time is not going down yet. Uh, I guess we might as well do a living board. Uh, city theme is all we got here. Cool. Uh, game mode selection. Choose entirely different end goal and play action card. What do we got here? First player to build a whole hotel on any property wins. No. Simultaneously any number of properties. Uh. This town has never looked so great. Now let's just do the uh, the regular one and see what happens. Uh, da -da. Each player. Yeah, I mean this is just going to be one player anyway. Uh... Empty. Heh. There we go. There I am. Uh, what do I want to be? I can be the kitty. Ooh, I should be the top hat. Yes, quite. I shall be the hot, the top hat. Yes, I do think so. Uh, let's see. Add AI. Fabricio! Uh, let's see. Vincenzo. David. Uh, let's go with this. Yeah, we'll do three AI so there's four players. That, se that seems good. Start the game. Ooh, can I, like, select them individually, or... I'll just do normal, I guess. No, okay. I was gonna say, if I could select them individually, I would totally do, like, one of each. Let's see. Alright, we've got a half-hour time limit. Let's see if we can bankrupt some people. Ooh, I can shake the controller to shake. Okay. Normally, I don't really... Ooh, we got doubles already. Oh, this is just deciding who goes first. Dang it. Yeah, normally I, I'm not into motion controls, but I'll uh, I'll get behind this. Shaking this frickin' thing to uh, to roll the dice. Why not? It looks like I'm going first. Possibly. Unless David has something to say about it. Mm, David! Damn you, David! Oh, David's my rival now. You weren't even born when the first few Pokemon games came out. Hey, I mean, they've been out for a while. That's that's the thing. Pokemon Pokemon is kind of old at this point. And I am a veteran trainer. Alright, David. What is you and your pink pussycat gonna, gonna get up to here? But I've got my blue top hat. Ha! Suck a dongo, David. And... Is it worse if I'm talking about the rat, rat or not? I'm gonna say I was gonna say I'm not talking about the rat, but I don't know. Either way, here. Yeah. Oh hell! Yeah. Wait. Oh, well, this doesn't really do me much good. Uh, I guess it's fine. I'm just visiting, so it's, it's neutral, and it gets me ahead further, so I'm further to, you know, getting around to. All right. Well, you know, it's fine. I'm further to pass and go again. Okay, not bad. Pink property, I'll take that. This property is for sale. Yeah, 140, I'll get that. Alright, cool. First property on the board. It's a pink one, that's not bad. In turn. Alright, Vincenzo, what do you got? What do you got for me? What are you gonna do here? Ah, 
I'm so going to beat these guys. Oh, chance. Bad, bad, bad. Make it bad. Make it bad. Something bad. Oh, you son of a dingus. Damn you, Vincenzo. Alright, it's fine. It's just cash. Fabricio. Alright, Fabricio. Come on, time... The, the time is ticking. I don't... I don't need... I don't want to wait for the, uh... AI to sit around playing with her dice. Alright, let's just say light blue. That's not a big deal. This is your chance to own some real estate. Are you ready? Okay. Good stuff so far. It's your turn. Oh, that's David. It's messing me up now because David is in the player one slot, which uh, in a single player game I would be used to being. It's all David's fault. Yes, obviously. David must be destroyed. He must be Dave destroyed. Oh, you son of a dink. Now oh, he got one of the pinks. The blocking my freaking Monopoly chances. It's fine. I need one Monopoly and then we can start building. Take that. Slapped a David right in the pussycat. Ooh, a railroad. You know, yeah, we'll get, we'll, uh, we'll grab that. I got some cash. Railroads are pretty valuable. Hmm. If I get the potential to land on the other pink. I might see if David wants to trade the railroad for the uh, for the pink that he's got. But I'm going to need to try and do that before I get the last pink because he's going to want to... Ooh, green is really good. Alright, give me that. Do you want to invest? Green is super valuable. If I get the greens, I am laughing. If I get the greens, then we are totally in the green. That's the thing. Green is one of the best properties to get the Monopoly in. Blue, like dark blue, is the most expensive properties. But there's also only two instead of three. I, I guess that makes it easier to like build up hotels and stuff. But green, like you get more of a chance for someone to land on it. And it's like, I think the second most expensive one. Yeah. I know a little bit about Monopoly, obviously. Come on, Fabrizio. Fabrizio. It's your auditory reference. I need to play the Assassin's Creed games again at some point. I played up to Black Flag, which was pretty good. But I own, like, the next, I think, two after that. I never really played them. Exactly, yes. If you control green and dark blue, then you have the row of death. Oh, my. Yeah, I mean, if you control green and dark blue. And you've basically won at that point, but yeah, even just controlling green is a is a huge boon. Something good is going to happen. I can feel it. Oh, son of a dink! Well, we'll see if she actually passed go. Yeah, they, he did. You shingus! Oh God damn! Oh, that was the one I needed, though. Oh, you, mm. Mm, David. Ooh, David. Ooh, David. Trading is the heart of business. No, I'm not going to give you my other thing. What do you want to trade? No, no. sod off, David. David's trying to get my pink. He's trying to get all up in my pink. I'm, I'm not gonna have it. All right, what do we got here? What is that one? Ooh, okay. All right, all right. You can buy this property. Yeah, all right, I'll take it. All right, I'm pretty... We're on a time crunch, so I'm pretty... Uh, uh da -da, end turn. Your time has come. 
I'd be hesitant to uh, give up an, a Monopoly normally, but if David manages to nab, like, the other blue, then I might trade him the pink for it, if he'd go for it. We'll see. The electric company? Eh, yeah, it's not a big... I've ne I was never big on the utilities. If someone else gets a green, I might see if David will trade me like the like the uh, the pink spaces for my green. I don't know. We'll see. I've only got 20 minutes left, so it's not exactly a lot of time for a game of Monopoly. David. All right, David. What do you got? What are you gonna do for me? Also, what happens if the demo just runs out of time? Do I have to, like, will a winner be declared? I hope so. Because we're probably not going to, like, get a full game out in the half hour here. This is what I call a safe spot. So hopefully they at least declare a winner, probably based on, like, net worth altogether. Alright, roll dice. Got a double, that's good. Got a brown spot. Yeah, brown slash purple. I do. I remember this being purple a lot of the time too. Oh, that's fine. We can roll again. Dang it. Seven. That brings me. Okay, just visiting. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, Vincenzo. Community chest. What do the cards have to Give say? Mary a hundred dollars. Oh, you're going to jail. What'd you do, Vincenzo? What did you do? He was framed by David. That's what it was. David is masterminding everything behind the scenes. Freaking David, man. I'm telling you, he's the worst. I must see him defeated. That's what I need. I need to beat David. It's time to find out whether you have good luck or bad luck. Page player $50? Hell yeah. Give me your $50, Fabricio. I shall take that money quite readily. I've got less cash than everyone else, but I have more property, so. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, David, where are you getting? David's getting a red. That's fine. That's fine. Five, that'll be on the railroad. I think that's the one I own already, isn't it? No, it's not. All right, I mean, I'll, I'll take a second railroad. That's pretty good. I got two now. In fact, let me see here. Let me give this a shot. Uh, how do I... Oh, trade. David... Uh, my offer is... David, I've got these two lovely railroads. Would you like to trade them for your two pinks? The railroads are worth more. Deal? If there's demand, there will be an offer. Oh, we got this now. Oh, we got this now. Oh, suck my David. Oh, David, you fool. David, you fool. You absolute fool. I'll end for now. 
want to make sure I've got at least a couple hundred bucks to my name here. All right. Now we have this. Oh, David. Oh, David, my silly young friend. Where is everyone? I guess... Yeah. The best idea is to... Uh, is to build properties when someone is, like, within distance of, uh, of landing on it. Build houses, I mean. Oh, no. Oh, Vicenzo. Mm. Oh, trying to get that red, trying to double up on him. Good, good. I want to see the other property spread out. I don't want someone else to get a monopoly. <laughs> David is a fool. It's your turn. I say that now. David's going to be going for those uh, uh, railroads now. But it's fine. The railroads are good. The railroads are good support. If you can't get a monopoly. But I, I would gladly... Uh, I would gladly trade away all four railro railroads for a solid monopoly. That's the thing. Hotels are where the real money is made, man. I'm telling you. Now, we, I just gotta hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Because the thing is... Railroads are not as valuable as monopolies. But they are really solid early game. Alright, David is getting another green. Ah, damn it. That's fine. It's fine, especially since I have a green already. The ideal thing now would be for... Now that I have a Monopoly... Hey, buddy. The ideal thing would be for me to get, like, a property, like, of every other color to make sure that nobody else can have one. Uh, does someone already own this? You certainly had other plans. Mm, damn you, David. You know, that's fine. It's fine. Alright, I get the roll again. Your time has come. Roll dice. Oh, man, I'm going to jail. Gosh dang it. Let's take a break. Ugh. David! He framed me too. Right, can I? That's how we create our legacy. Let's do that. Just do two for now. Enter. All right, Vincenzo. I do like how the uh, the dice will, like just knock over the pieces on the board because if you've ever actually played a physical game of Monopoly, that will 100% happen every time. <laughs> hey, buddy. Problem is, I'm low on like actual cash now. Oh well, I'm in jail, so I'm just gonna stay there. I'm just gonna roll and, you know, hopefully get doubles to get out. Uh, for now, yeah, because I'm low on funds. That's the last green. All the greens are uh, are out there now. All right, all the greens are bought. The greens are spread out. And I have one of them, so I genuinely don't need to worry about a, a green on... Uh... What do you want to trade? Is he trading with me? No. Yes. No, I'm not giving anyone the green. What's your offer? I'm not giving out the green because I do not want to have to worry about someone getting a monopoly on the green properties. I will hold on to that green pop property specifically to make sure that doesn't happen. Hey, buddy. Huh. That's a good boy. How did you do that? 
There you go, David. Give some money to for Fabricio. He needs it. Let's play. Come on, David. I only got ten minutes left. Let's get this show on the road. Aha! Give me those four bucks, David. Give me them four dollars. Okay. Uh, roll die. Oh, it's only fifty bucks to get out. You know, I'm gonna just pay the. I'm gonna pay the tax man. I'm gonna pay the toll, so I can uh, get to. Because I, I wanna, I, I wanna get around the board so I can get my uh, my two hundred dollars. So I can invest more. Receive 50 bucks. Hey, look, perfect. That was basically free then. That that worked out. Your turn starts now. Yeah, I need to uh I need to add more liquid, so I need to keep going around the board to get money so I can build up on my properties. And just wait for someone to land on them. I hope you're feeling lucky. 20 bucks. Okay. Pay for treats. Oh, no worries, Jacob. It's all good. I wish you luck. Trust me, the, the kitties get well treated. Okay. Senzo's getting some cash in. Alright, so it looks like Vincenzo and David are both Closing in on my properties there. So hopefully a couple of them will land on them. Here comes Fabricio. Aha, uh -huh, okay, that's good, that's good. It's a little bit less liquid for Fabrizio. Alright, David. Your time has come. You could land on one of my properties here, David. And Fabrizio is going again first, though. Okay, that's right. Oh, you stinker! Sometimes you Ugh. Okay, that's just money being moved around. Threaded the needle there. Alright, David. Come on, land on one of my houses. Do it. Land on one of my houses. Oh. Just slapped at that pussycat. Oh, is that... Oh, is it... Did he... I can't tell. Yes! Yes, David! Yes, David! Give me the fifty dollars. Yes, David. All right, I'm gonna to try to hold on to at least two hundred dollars in liquid. I've got eight minutes left. Lose money. You son of. Might not be bad. Well, it, that primes him to land on my property again, I guess. It gets him close to that. But it just gets him more money out of the economy. Or into the economy, rather. Okay. He could land on my stuff again next turn. Potentially. Trading is the heart of business. Trading is the heart of the cards. I play dark magician. There's demand, there will be an offer. It's your turn. 
Okay. Okay, where's that putting me? Uh, what is that? Ah, crap. That's owned by someone, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. I'll bid a hundred bucks on it. All right. No, I'm gonna withdraw. I don't want it. The other two reds are spread out, so it's probably fine. I swear, if if this ends up giving David the other red, like, all right, Vincenzo got it. If Vincenzo gets the other red from David, then it's going to be bad news, but hopefully he doesn't do that. Hopefully David hangs on. David, I'm, I'm counting on you to hang on to that other red. Where am I, anyway? I'm, like, on the other side there. Alright, time's almost up, so... It's probably better off for me to go in and put whatever houses I can down. Oh, damn. Giving money to David, I see. Damn that David. I totally should have just put this on two player. Like me and one computer, I mean. Just to make it go a bit quicker. Because as it is, we're not getting anywhere close to finishing the game. You landed on a free property. Yeah, whatever. You want to invest? I, do, I do know that I am enjoying this version of Monopoly. This is cool. Oh, uh, it's on me. Uh, I'll bid a dollar. I'm out. See where we're at. Your rent is due. Dang it. All right, it's fine. Uh, we're ba ba ba. Hopefully someone will land on that one. Vincenzo, you're primed for it. Get on there. Which one is that? Is that one of mine or is that the freaking... Okay, it's one of mine. It's not the expensive one, but that'll do. Bad okay, okay. Never give up. I'll take that. On, time's almost up. You certainly had other plans for Fleet Street. That street is on fleet. 
I know that's not the thing the kids used to say. The kids who are now old, because that's how long ago on fleet was a thing. On fleek. Whatever it was. I'm old, can you tell? Alright, David, where are you going? Sometimes you have to pay the price. Okay. David's losing cash. Shake the dice and see what the future holds. Go! Okay, something good. Give me something good. Something good is going to happen. I can feel it. Ten dollars from every player. All right, it's not much, but I'll take it. Uh, manage properties. Uh, this one. You did well. In turn. All right, we got a minute and a half for someone to hopefully land on one of those. Come on, Vincenzo. Don't disappoint me. Ah, balls. It's time to find out whether you have good luck or bad. Ah, balls. It's your turn. Fabrizio. Oh, cat says it's street time. All right, very good. We'll do that. Zant, Razzle! Well, they one here. I'm sure one of them will come get it, and I'll lay the other one over here. Thank you, cat. One of them will come in sooner or later, I'm sure. Oh god, there's 15 seconds left in the game! And half hour went by quick. Successful people Give money to me. Uh, that's that's like the one that can like really screw you late game. All right, demo time is up, huh? All right, I guess that's it. You know, what? I'm gonna call myself the victor on that one because I was the only one to have a monopoly. Mm. Bit of a kind of a lame like I don't know what else you would do for it, but it's kind of a lame demo. Probably be better off if it was just like you could play one game of it, as opposed to only having a set number of time. I don't know, I get it, but whatever. That was fun then. I'm I'm gonna call myself the victor over David with that one. Also I might as well delete this here now. Delete the software. There we go. Okay, so what else dust we haveth in the library here? What else? Uh, we got this one as a spooky one, detention. The demo for detention. What's this all about? This is spooky, I think. It's by Coconut Island. Man, I want to go to Coconut Island. That sounds nice. Vince characters, organizations depicted in this game, fortunately, are fictitious. Any similarity to actual persons, living or dead? Look, okay. As far as this game may be considered violent or cruel, this game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore, not appropriate for people with heart diseases. Oh boy, what are we getting into here? Okay. Uh, settings. Alright, that's fine. Sure, this should be fine. Okay. It's only a demo. How scary can it be? It can't be that bad, right? Well, here we go. Class, the following material is important. Pay attention, this will be on the final exam. During this time period, many provincial military leaders... And I just fall asleep, I guess. 
Yep. The president then started the northern expedition, securing... Look, it's instructor by... Hi, bye. Miss Yin, may I have a word with you? Okay, class, let's take a sh short break or whatever. Miss Yin. Have you seen this list before? What are we getting ourselves into here? Oh, was I asleep that entire time? Great, fantastic. Did I fall asleep? This is strange. Where is everybody? How come nobody's here? Oh boy. A typhoon alert? Oh boy, that's not good. There shouldn't be any typhoons this time of year. What's going on here? Here we go. This is my seat. Chairs are pretty uncomfortable, but I'm used to it now. There's a note on the table. Add a journal. Where did Miss Yin go? Where did Miss Yin go? Whoever was passing this note in class was worried about Miss Yin. Miss Yin keeps calling in sick lately. That's weird. No kidding, man. I hate those other subs they send in. Okay. Oh. Oh. School anthem. Our school anthem. It actually has a decent melody. The lyrics, however, feel like another one of those propaganda promote propagandas promoting patriotism. School motto and rules. The first thing in orientation was to memorize the school motto and rules. And all that be honest. All that, uh, all that be honest. Be brave. Be loyal. Be frugal. Stuffs. And making sure you know it was Principal uh, Mr. Shen who established these foundations for us. Okay. I'll put it in my notebook. It's getting dark out. I should head home. Yeah, apparently. Did nobody think to wake me up after class? Door? Is there a run button? No. Use, inspect, close. Room 203. This is my classroom. How did I fall asleep for so long? Okay... Did I sleep through all the afternoon classes? Front gate isn't this way. Door's locked. Awful quiet in the classroom. Have they all gone home? I mean, if it's dark out, then yeah, probably. Piece of paper lies on the windowsill. Sketch of the old banyan tree. An old sketch of what looks like the banyan tree in the school. There seems to be a figure underneath. Looks like the mailman. Or Mr. Bai, maybe. Okay. Door's locked. Front gate's not that way. Front gate must be this way. Okay, we're on like the second floor. Gotcha. Sign for the principal's office. Mr. Shen. Principal? Is that right? That one's locked. Looks like everything's locked. Uh, the only telephone you haven't. The only telephone in the school is in the principal's office, huh? Pot for growing daffodils. Only one of them still hanging in there. There's something in the dirt. Dig it out. Uh, yeah. An old photograph. Can't tell who's in the picture. There's a quote written on it. The roots below the earth claim no rewards for making the branches fruitful. Okay. That's still weird. The only telephone in the entire school is in the principal's office. Shoot, they closed the roll-up door. That's the only route to the front gate. Gotta figure out a way to open it. Uh, this? Control panel for the roll-up door. Open it? Yes. It's a mechanical winch. There are instructions on the cover. Need a hand crank. Okay. Let's look for a crank so we can get cranking. Let's do some cranky yanking. Uh, uh, um, 
Okay. Okay. It's just dirty raincoat. Okay. Uh, looks like something here. Hand crank. Got it. All right, sweet. Off we go. Oh, what's this? Kerosene heater. We used it last winter. Huddling around it and having a good time. Fun memories. All right, so far so good. Got the crank. Let's get cranking. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hand crank. Gotcha. I did it. I did a success. I've done well. Ooh, here we go. Okay. Just see where we wind up, I suppose. Auditorium is at a lower altitude compared to the other buildings at school. Through the auditorium is the front gate, the route down the mountain. Okay, so I guess we gotta go through the auditorium. Shortest route back home is through the auditorium. Enter. I mean, yeah, we're trying to trying to go home, right? That seems to be the thing. We fell asleep in class and no one decided to wake us up when class ended. Oh, there's another person. Okay, I guess we say hi. I mean, no one woke me up, so I guess I should wake this person up. And... Hello, miss? Please don't... Don't let your head fall off or anything like that. Wake up, you shouldn't be here. How ironic would it be if I, if I uh, complained about no one waking me up and then I saw this person asleep? I was like, mm, not gonna mess with it. Leave her alone. Where am I? The auditorium you were uh, the auditorium you were sleeping on the stage. Huh? School is canceled because a typhoon is coming. Typhoon? If a typhoon is coming, I feel like they really should have woke me up. It just came from, I just came from my classroom. You're the first person I've come across. Weird. How did I We should get going. It's getting dark in here. And the rain is starting to pour. Wait. My necklace is gone. What? Have you seen my necklace? I don't think so. How? I must have lost it somewhere. You're not leaving without your necklace? Um, would it be too much trouble? Well, we'll certainly find it faster if we live together. Thank you, then. What kind of necklace are you looking for? A deer-shaped jade pendant tied to a red cord. Well, that sounds nice. Let's split up and search for it. Thanks, that means a lot. Okay, let's go looking for it. Oh, there it is. I can see it. Something's in there, but I can't reach it. Okay, so clearly we need something to get that out of there. Flagpoles, the stuff is used during our school assemblies. There's an umbrella in the bucket. Take the umbrella? Yes. Broken umbrella. Oops, all busted up. Can I use the uh, hook on the umbrella to get that out? Nice. White jade deer pendant. Cool, that is pretty. Uh, miss? Oh, there she is. Okay, good. Hey, I, I found your thing. Is this the necklace? You found it. That's awesome. Thank you. How did it get, like, inside the freaking air duct? Where'd you find it? In the storage room next to the stage. It seems like someone threw it into a vent in there. What? Why would it be in such a place? Well, forget it. You found it anyway. Let's get going before the rain gets heavy. Sure. 
We got a friend. Well, I got a friend. It's time to go. So, I guess we're going out this way. Ooh, hang on. Can I take this jacket? So, odds and ends in an old military jacket. Nothing special here. I mean, if, I would take the jacket if the rain is getting heavy. At least offer it to the girl. Yeah, it's raining pretty hard. Aged banyan tree. Oh, that's the tree. Probably been here long before people settled on this mountain. Alright. Well, we made it out of the school, anyway. Rock's been sitting here for quite some time now. People say it fell from a small temple on the mountain. Cool. Security office by the main gate. I guess even the guard left for home. Here's the campus exit. Okay. Seems like we did it. What? What? The bridge collapsed? Oh no. No freaking way. Well that's... What in the heck? Oh god. Why is the river red? That would be a very good question, would it not? This looks like... Kinda looks like blood. Blood? Don't say that. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. What happened? Okay, let's calm down and think about it. It's got to be a reasonable explanation. Mm. Why is it red? Even muddy water shouldn't be this color. Ah, I think I know the cause of this. Oh, me. There should, there's a few factories located upstream. It's probably them dumping chemicals into the river under cover of the typhoon. Are you sure? I've heard people talking about it. Perhaps you're right. I mean, clear, there's something in the water turning it red, obviously. The worst part is we don't have a way to go downhill now with the bridge gone. Tons of people cross this bridge every day. The bridge should have been better maintained. Guess we'll have to head back to the school. It won't do us any good standing here in the middle of the rain. True. Don't worry, it's just a typhoon. The school has enough supplies for us to get through the storm. Alright. I guess I can trust you. You seem like a reliable person. I'm just trying to be optimistic. Let's get going then. Yeah, that does seem like the smart thing to do. It's just kind of to head back to the school and hunker down. It also, you know, it's also like in a building. It's at high altitude, so you're you're probably not going to get flooded in too bad. You'll at least be dry inside. Or you'll be able to get dry. All wet and tired. What a day. Just rest up for now. We have to spend the night here. Oh, wait. I haven't officially thanked you for finding my necklace for me. I'm Fang Ray Sheen, a senior from Miss Yin's class. You can call me Ray. How about you? What grade are you in? So you're my senior. Miss Fang, I'm Wei Chung Ting. You don't have to be formal with me. It's a bit awkward. Just Ray is fine. And normally we don't go to don't go to the senior building. I heard that it's a very competitive environment where everyone works their butt off studying. Ha, huh, it's not that awful. Some of us still do what we want. I do envy envy you for graduating soon. You won't have to I do envy you for graduating. Soon you won't have to see Guo Fang on a daily basis anymore. Instructor Bai? I don't even dare call him by his whole name. Rumor says he was a relentless killer during the war. I wouldn't dare do that in front of him either. We're all pretty terrified of him. We avoid him in any possible way we can. Ahem. Hey, you, come here. Why or Hey, you, come here. Why are you hiding from me? Are you affiliated with the commies? Oh, that was a perfect imitation. Giving me goosebumps. Heh. <laughs> Anyway, just hang on tight, buddy. It'll be your turn to graduate next year. Huh, life's a struggle. Hey, I know what we can do. Let me go use that phone in the principal's office and see if I can contact anybody. Then I'll grab that heater in the storage room and a couple of blankets from the health center. There you go. I was going to say, I figured the kerosene heater would, uh, would come into play here. It also makes sense to see if you can get into the room and get on the horn with someone. Because if you're wet from being out in the rain, you definitely want to get the heater going. It's a well-thought-out plan. Do you need any help? I'll be fine on my own. You should rest up here, missus. That man's got it un The man's got it under control. This is a man's job. For a man. Just go out and immediately slip on the wet floor and crack his ankle or something. He's like, ah, help! The man is down. Hold on there now. 
Don't take me as one of the spoiled pamper girls. I'm probably more capable than most of you boys. Sorry, that came out the wrong way. It's okay, you don't have to apologize. I know you're just trying to help. Okay, well, how about this? I'll go make the phone call, then we can find what we need together and carry them back. Alright, that sounds good. I'll wait for you right here. Just hurry back. It's getting real lit, real dark in here. Yeah, we're definitely going to want that... Uh, uh, that lamp and stuff going, the heater, rather, the kerosene thing. Alright, so first things first. Excuse me? Ooh, um, uh, er, uh, uh, um, excuse, ooh, uh. Its footsteps echoed softly, invoking a trace of suspense in me. Reality faded away as time stood still. I swallowed hard as the emptiness confined me. Boom. Is this where this is going to start getting like Silent Hill on us? Um... Um, excuse me. This went from a, a 2 to a 10 real quick in terms of a, a spooky factor. Why? What happened? Looks like he's not breathing at all. Is he dead? But how? He was fine just a moment ago. Oh my god, I just met you. Tell me this is only a bad dream. Okay, Ray, take a deep breath. Are we gonna, like, control Ray now instead of, what was the other guy, Way? There's a notebook on the stage. It's Way's journal. Yeah, I didn't receive notebook. Saw so him looking through it earlier. Perhaps there are clues to what happened. Oh, we are. We're just straight up not this guy anymore. Uh, fortune telling poem. Uh, fortune telling poem from the temple. Turn the wheel with the laws of the universe to reveal the path ahead. Huh. Yeah, this is notebook. The stuff that I already collected. And yeah, this is clue is new. Turn the wheel with the laws of the universe to reveal the path ahead. Okay. Too dark to see anything. Can't go that way. Okay. Everything's fine. I'm sure. Can I take this? Just take the candle with me. This should light the way. Yes. There we go. Better. Belongs to Mr. Cow. Go outside now. It's the old tree. Why is there a grave here? The engravings on the tombstone are all rubbed off. When was this built? A shrine? Worshipping a few deities. I don't recognize any of them other than the Earth God. What's this thing next to the incense? What's this thing next to the incense burner? Auditorium key. Ooh. Okay. Note under the key. What's this? Facing the lingered. Oh dear. Picked up at the shrine. Seems like a page from a children's book. Don't be scared when you see the lingered. Just hold your breath and quietly walk away. Okay. Good. Good to know. Okay. 
trail downhill has disappeared. Okay. Can I walk past it if I'm holding my breath? Ah, okay, you can ah, open the door. Okay. okay, so you can only hold your breath for so long. Come well, on, I got the auditorium key. Oh, there's a dead rat in there. Note book club. Note with a conversation. Hey, I heard a teacher start at a club for students. I'm reading some prohibited books. Really? I thought the book club was just a place for studying. Hmm. I like how some of like the things that we're finding are like notes that students passed back and forth, because of course that's the kind of thing that you would randomly find in the school. Hey, Silver, how's it going? Hope you're having a good weekend thus far. We're playing the demo for a game called Detention. And it's a tad bit spooky. Just a bit. Just a little bit spooky. The butt's puckering just a little bit. And they say, I hope I can wake up from this nightmare. Yes, okay. Door's locked, okay. But I have the key. Okay. Oh, that's it? All right. That, that's all I got here. Man, I was... I, I'm, I'm disappointed with how these demos are ending. Like... This was... This was good. Like, I enjoyed... Th this game seems really cool. And uh, and pretty spooky. But I, I'd like if they... Uh, it'd be nice if they end off, like, the demo with a bang. Like... It doesn't need to be, like, anything major, but just, like... I don't know. Like, I opened that last door and then, like... You know, something jumps in and kills me, and then it's like, oh, that's the end of the demo, or whatever. Still, that was that was that was a a little bit spooky there. That, that was an interesting little spook game. We can uh, we can chuck that one now. Let's see what else we've got here. Let's see if we got something other than a demo that's going to uh, end off real quick. Uh, let's see. There was uh, one that I. Got a while ago. No thing. I'm curious what this one is all about. This one caught my attention. This was a game that I've, I'm pretty sure it's one of those ones that I bought for less than a dollar while it was on sale. Forever Entertainment. Yeah, I feel like they put a ton on sale. And with some kind of cliffhanger. Yeah, exactly. Like it just kind of stopped, you know? No thing. Okay. Options. Uh, audio levels look okay there. Uh, music on, sound on, yep. Go back. Storyline. Start new game. Hello, level one. Our simplest point. You have to deliver a message to the Queen of Ice. Okay. Level one, turn left. Oh. Turn right. This is not what I thought the gameplay of this was going to be. I'm just turning left and right. You just have one right. I mean, this is trippy. Well, let's see where this goes. Okay, this is a little weird to look at. I feel like I should be wearing 3D glasses or something. Please put on your. Does he just say he's not on my side? Oh, ow, jeez. Okay. We hang on. Then turn right. All right. The gameplay of this is dumb as hell, but I'm curious now. You got me curious what this nonsense is. Oh god. I am you and then you now. 
I am you and in you now. What? I know that is strange. The air went bad. You do not want. And I have to stay. Ah! Red! Jesus! This is hard to look at, man. Look at your face. Look at your hands. I know what to oh. do. Ah, sh Yeah! Dang it! 56. Is that the percentage of how far I've gotten through the level? You know, I gotta say, I don't hate this. This is trippy, but oh, I could really do without the constant color changing. Like, I feel this game is supposed to be weird and trippy, but the uh, the color changing is a bit much. That's like, ah, yeah, that's making it a bit hard to look at. Like, pick a color and stick to it. Or even if it was just like each level had a different one, but the constant shifting is really messing with my brain here. Not even my brain, just my eyes. Dang it. How long does the level go for? Jesus. 84. Ah, oh, I must have been close. Assuming that's a percentage. Oops, I messed that up right off the bat, didn't I? There's something cool about this, but... I don't know. The, the, the shift in color is... Uh, is not... Maybe if it faded between them, like had kind of a long fade, that would be... That would probably be better, actually. That might be easier on the eyes overall if it's like slowly fading from one color to the other. So you're like getting a rainbow and you're just not you're not just staring at one color constantly, so that could be good. Well now I wanna see what happens when you get to the end of one of these levels. Dang it. Level one, turn left. This is so weird. I feel like that's kind of the point, but... Watch your steps. You just have your shoes are shining. But I know who you are. I am not on your side. Hey, 
Hang on, I'm going in a circle now. What is the deal? You are simple message. I am your stand. The rebels are talking too much. The rebels are talking too much? Of us. That's real. Oh, damn it! Son of a oh. I mm, I just wanna I wanna see the end of at least one level. Come on, man. Oh, I messed that up real quick, didn't I? Oh, this is... Mm. I'm like... Alright, hang on. <sighs> Breathe. Also, does this... is Does this speed up as it goes along? That might be what's messing me up here when I start over. I think it goes faster as it goes. I want you to be in me. Jeez, at least take me out to dinner first. Watch your steps. I wanna. You just have one friend. Just, yeah, just give me. Just let me. Let me try this. Your shoes are shining. This is like Rainbow Road on acid. This is what this is. I know that is strange. The air went bad. You do not want. And I have the same. Look at your face. Look at your hands. I know what you did. And so knows the queen. Oh. One more try. I'm going to try it one more time. Level one, turn left. Then turn right. Watch your steps. You just have one friend. Your shoes are shining. But I know who you are. I am not on your side. I am you and then you now. I know that is strange. The air went bad. You do not want. And I have the same. Look at your face. Look at your hands. Sure, darn it! Ah, oh, frickin'. What in the hell is this game? What is this game? All right, hang on. I just... This is so freaking weird that I'm just, I'm dying to know what happens when you get through this stupid level. This is the strangest thing you've ever seen. I know, it's so... Like, I just, I need to know if, if this is all there is to this, or if there's something else. The air went bad. You do not want. And I have the same. Look at 
your face. Look at your hands. I know what you did. And so knows the thief. You are simple message. I am your stem. Rebels are talking too much. Of us. That's all. Did you see? Old man. And. Turn and turn. Not so fast. Her best was like. Your blood is rose. Buildings around us. Want your eyes. But you do not know. How to shine. How long does that go for? 133. Uh, 97% son of a... Uh. Uh. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Maybe we'll come back to that in a bit. No thing. No thing. Yeah, no. What the hell was that? That was so freaking weird. Jacob, thank you for the uh, for the rippy bitty. I appreciate you so much. Uh, what else do we have on it? Defunct. Oh, this has got a cute little robot boy on it. What's going on in defunct? What is this one all about? Freshly squeezed. That's a fun logo. So a disco. Options. Okay. Game. Sure. New game. What do we got here? Is this my spaceship? Is this my spaceship? Is that me in there? Uh, home. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Is there supposed to be sound during this, or no? I guess not. Hang on, I... Yeah, there we go. Am I a little robot? Short and stout. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I'm like, uh, uh, BB-8's little friend, whatever it was, the one with the wheel, except more to it. Oh, look, there's a uh, curling puck. Whee! Ooh. Uh, gravitize. Hold ZR to gravitize. Gravitizing downhill will increase your speed, while gravitizing uphill will slow you down. Lamp on your back indicates whether you are downhill or uphill. Gravitizing in the air will make you land faster. Okay. Whee! Oh, this is... Okay, this is... This is significantly more fun than that last game. Wee. 
Oh, this is this is nice. This is a this is downright pleasant. After no thing, this is something at least. We uh oh ah oh owie that didn't work. Okay, what did I miss here? Okay, gravitizing downhill will increase your speed. Gotcha. There we go. That did it. Uh, hold A to use your broken engine. A broken engine can be used as a last resort for when you run out of speed or to climb up hills. Whee! Hold left stick to slow down. Uh huh. Oh, 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 I get it. Get on here and then gravitize. Gotcha. Uh huh. Well, this is cute. This is a cute little game. Uh, did I miss something here? What is this? Huh. Or is that just a. That's a checkpoint. Okay. That's what that is. Press B to jump. Press it again to jump, double jump. Uh, gravitizing in the air will make you land faster. The lamp on your back indicates whether you will land down on a downhill or uphill. This is kind of fun. Uh-huh, here we go. Uh-huh. Looks like I gotta find another thing. Yeah, okay. Where's the other thing? There it is. Okay, that didn't work. But I can probably go up and around here. Hang on, okay. It's a little weird to control. Okay, so. Let me... Got it. Nice. Haha. <laughs> oh, this is fun and cute. This is nice. So yeah, the general thrust of it is that you just want to, uh, like, gravitize, like, increase your gravity while you're rolling downhill so you can kind of go up and around. Way better game, yeah, for sure. And, oh, alright, so turn around, boop, and then gravitize. There we go. Okay, that's a checkpoint. Ooh, Virus! Thank you so much for that resub. Oh, you are an absolutely wonderful human being. You are a total treasure, and I absolutely appreciate you. Thank you so much. For that, uh, for that 10 month resub virus, you are amazing and I appreciate you. Wee! Look at this cute game we're playing. Ain't this adorable? Or this cute little rolly robot? We're just rolling all along. Alright, this bridge. How do we get this down? Aha. Uh -huh. A new challenge.
He is a cute roly boy. Uh, button? Oh, I don't know what to do here. Uh, button? No, I didn't, I didn't do it, no. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> the hell? Eh. Gosh dang it. Oh, man. Oh. There we go. Ain't he? Oh, no, it was a trap. Whoa, oh, oh, steady on. Oh. Just got like shunted out of our spaceship. Is that what happened? Uh oh, spaghettios. Lost. Well, we're still alive at least. That's good. That's a plus. Oh, is that our ship? Is that where we came from? Oh, oopsie. Ah, hoo hee hee hoo hoo hoo. Ah, oh, it's bouncy. Look at that. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Ow. Let me get off of this for a second here. Whoop. Oh, almost made it. Oh, hang on. Ah, no. Aw, almost had it. Ooh, there we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Those are probably just like collectibles or something. I don't know if those are required for progression or anything like that. Let's see. Oh, this is fun. We finish your pancakes. You're back to the insanity of Outlast. Nice, good stuff. Uh, good stuff, Lucy. Thank you. Uh, thank you for lurking. Thank you for hanging out. I always appreciate you. Oh, there we go. Oh, how do I? Oh, can I just like eh, use my motor to get up here? Yes, I can. Another one of these. Oh. Okay. I like how you respawn really quick. That's always good. Oh, hang on. A little bit of hitching here. Ooh, ow. Ooh, rock. Ooh. Nope. Oh, oh, hang on. Game.
Ah, dang it. The, uh, the bit of hitching that I'm getting in this. Like the game kind of like freezing for a second there. It's kind of uh, messing up my flow here. This is pretty cute. This is cool. Let's see if I can make it past this part now. Oh, get up over. There we go. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, hang on. Olympia! How's it going? Thank you for joining us. Did you did, did you do good? Did you, did you beat the person? I know you were playing Undertale earlier. You were doing the genocide run. Hello, Tanuki Sword. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to get a shout out going on here. Guys, if you aren't following Olympia, be sure to check her out because she is an absolutely beautiful and amazing, sweet person who deserves all the love and good vibes in the world. You didn't do the person? Aw, oh, I mean, it's that's a tricky one. But I hope you had a good stream anyway. I hope you had a good time uh, trying. And, huh, dang it. We are playing a game, well, we are doing our monthly demos and discount stream, where we play a bunch of, like, demos and random cheap stuff that we found in the Nintendo Switch eShop. So right now we are playing a game called Defunk, where we are this uh, cute little roly-poly robot boy. Hello, uh, Crimp the Shrimp, thank you for joining us. I hope you all were having a good day. I look tall. I am 6'3". That is how tall I am. That's 191 centimeters for those... Outside of North America. Whoop. Let's see. You're progressing. That's good. That's good. I believe in you, Olympia. I know you can do it. Ah, oh, hang on, game. Oh, the hitching is... Oh, there we go. Made it. Oh, God. Oh, how do I do this part? Woo! Taller than you by four inches. Nice. I like being the tallest person in the room. It's one of the few things I have going in my favor. Maybe I can try going that way. Hang on. Whoop! Oh no! Oh, that didn't work. Well, now we're under here. Zip, 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 zip. This does look like fun. This is one of the games that I bought on the Switch for... Uh, while it was on sale, so I paid like less than a dollar for it. I'm not sure how much it is now. But uh, it is called Defunct. And uh, so far it's pretty cute. Uh, on the Switch here, I'm having some like... Uh, oh, oh, dang it. I'm, ha I'm having some like uh, hitching troubles Amazing. on it. Tanuki Sore, thank you for that follow. That is very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Let me see if I can go a different route or something. Like if there's another way to go. Oh. The software was closed because an error occurred. Okay. Hang on. Amazing. And uh, Crimp the Shrimp, thank you for that follow as well. Let me get back in here. Let me try again. This uh, this game is really cool and fun, but uh, the Switch version appears to be not particularly well optimized, so I don't know if there's like a better version on uh, on PC or anything like that. New content. Yeah, let me just continue. Still something you need to go back and complete. Yeah, the genocide run. Yeah, if I, uh, I... I've watched plenty of playthroughs of Undertale. I feel like if I ever... Uh, if I ever played it here on the channel, I would not be doing the genocide run. That is a that is a bit much... Hold wide escape. There we go. Definitely not a shrimp. No, not at all. You uh, you can call yourself that to, uh, to put your enemies off guard. Ooh! Ah! E! Ow! Oh! Goodbye, sweet prince. Boom. Boom. Boop. There we go. And whoop. Whoop. Let's see. Clearly I'm supposed to go this way. Whoop. 
Oh, yeah, right there at the freshly squeezed sign. It looks like I can probably go left, but I don't know if that's going to be any easier or not. Try it. You know, I was going to say if I fail again. When I fail again, we can try that. <laughs> Get up there, little buddy. I believe in you. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh no. Oh no. Please. Ah! Ah! Oh, 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 just go. Oh, just go. Oh, I cheesed it. Oh, I cheesed it super hard. Oh, the tasty cheese. Oh, I'm just back here. I think I went around in a circle. I'm back at the sign. Gosh dang it. Where am I supposed to go? Cat's only four foot or five foot three. Four foot three would be a lot. Or not a lot, I suppose. That's that's okay, cat. That that just means you've got uh, uh you've compacted all the adorable so it's more concentrated. It's uh, like all the cute is in one spot. That's that's what that's what you need to tell people. It's like I'm not short, I'm just more concentrated. <laughs> What am I supposed to be doing here, then? Do I need to find all of these pieces? Is that what I'm doing? Because I got two of them. Huh. Ah, dang it. All right, let's see if we can look around here and go different spots. Kat, you are fabulous. Don't even, don't even start. You are an amazing, fabulous being who deserves all the love and good vibes in the world. Fortunately, you've got blue, and he's pretty damn rad. So you know, that that's that's a big plus in your corner there. What am I supposed to be doing right now? This way, maybe. This is just back here. Nope, that's not. Oh, sploosh. Ah, ooh, ow, e, oof, yeah, dang. I have a good voice, though. Thank you, Crim. Thank you very much. I'm glad you appreciate. Oh, well, this is just sending me right in the water. Whoop, but there we go. Oh no, oh no. Gonna go grab some food. Absolutely, do the food thing. I know that's usually my priority as soon as I'm finished streaming, is to uh. Get some food, my gullet. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. Can I go this way? No, that's just a big half pipe again. I feel like I'm just kind of going around in a circle here. Let me see. Is there somewhere else I can go here? Huey Hughes Paint Factory. Fantastic. I'll look around a little. Oh, ow. By the way, for the people coming in, if you want to join in the Halftime Marble Show, which we're going to be doing in about five minutes, then uh, all you got to do is put exclamation point play into the chat. Oh, here we go. This is where I haven't been. Gotcha. I think the goal is just to get to the end of the level. That's what I thought. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just didn't realize that the level went this way. Oh, God. Ow. I'm stuck on the bouncy pad. We're stuck. Hang on. I got it. I'm trying to... Oh, no. We're trying to turn. Oh, God. There we go. Goodbye. Let's try this again. There we go. That's better. Yeah, let's let's keep on cruising here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no. Like, if you do it twice, then there's no, uh, there's no penalty or anything. So if you're not sure, then... Uh, yeah, go on ahead. Get on in there. I want when we switch over there. I want I want to see lots of balls. I want to drop lots of marbles and see where they're gonna end up. Oh, oh, e, oh. Here we go. Okay. All right. Cool. Progress. Wee. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, look at that tree. That's pretty. I want all the balls, cat. Over the hills we go. So yeah, the thing about this game is that if you, uh, for those who came in with the raid, so you're playing as this little robot with a wheel, and his engine is kind of busted, but he does have, like, this thing that lets him increase gravity, basically. Um, so the idea is that you can roll down hills, and while you're rolling down, you can increase gravity to get, uh, uh, build up a bit more speed going down the hill, than let go of it while you're going up the hill, of course. And also you can, you know, increase your gravity thing while you're in the air so you can drop down a bit harder. That uh, helps on those bouncy pad things. So it's pretty cool. We got a little bit of a double jump there. Oh. Zoomy. Oh, do I get in there? There we go. Let me see if I can get in. Huh. I missed. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about 100% completion or anything like that. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Oh, hang in there. Hang in there, frame rate. You can do it. Watch over the trees. Ooh, what's this? Oh, got it. I'm guessing those are like the bonus collectibles. Ooh, ooh. Wee! Ooh, this is fun when I go fast. Hey, Dorino, how's it going? Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a good day. Into the woods we go! Ooh, ooh, ow. It's fine. Checkpoint. Mm-hmm. Careful. Watch out for the trees. Ooh, what's this? That looks like something. Uh, well, it certainly stopped me. Oh, it blew something up. It, like, opened up this here. Wee. Oh, look, there's another little robot friend. Multiple oh, little robot friends. Where'd they go? Oh, I want to, I want to, I want to follow them. I want to meet up with my little robot friends and say hello and be a family forever and everything will be great. What's this? Hold X to magnetize. Magnetize makes you stick to surfaces. It can be used to ride upside down around vertical objects. Cool. Okay, we got another gameplay function. Whoop. Uh. Uh. Huh. Ooh, I see. Ooh, trippy. Oh, this is cool. Where, where are we going, though? Ooh. Okay, we're back here. Uh, oh, that led us this way. So I guess, okay, this is forward then. Gotcha. I thought I, like, fell down and went back or something. Oh, boy. Hang on. Oh, cool. Huh? Okay. All right. All right. Ooh, what's this over here? That's another Kerplody from the looks of it. Wee! Oh, nice. Huh. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, that blew us that way. Hang on. Am I supposed to be going this way, though? This seems like the way to go, right? I feel like I'm being led in this direction. Yeah, there's the checkpoint. Uh, this way, I think? Looks like this way. Ooh, there's the robot friends. Ooh, look at them. They're so cute. These robots is adorable. Oh, hang on. My foot is falling asleep from sitting on it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I sat on my foot too long and now it's asleep. Oh, God. My toes feel like what TV static looks like. I hate when that happens. I swear to you, one of, the, one of the most terrifying experiences of my life was when I, uh, and this has happened a couple of times since then, but obviously less scary after the first time, where I, like, slept on my arm funny, and then I woke up, and it was, like, completely numb. Oh, Cat says to do a stretch. All right, we'll do a stretch. And I'll stand up and do that. Hang on a sec. Here we go. Yes. All right, guys, if you, ha if you haven't moved in a while, we've been sitting down for a little while, then uh, be sure to stand up, stretch your legs, stretch your arms. Really? Oh, God. Oh, boy, I'm old. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you hear? Oh, boy. I like how I do this, like, directly in front of the microphone so you can... Oh, you can really hear all the snap, crackles, and pops. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. I feel like when I stand up, it's not supposed to sound like a bowl of Rice Krispies, but, oh, here we are. Oh, oh, sweet, merciful crap. Oh, boy. Thank you, Cat. That was appreciated. Also, make sure to stay hydrated. Take care of yourselves out there, or I'm coming to get you. Um, but yeah, actually, this is a good point for that anyway, because now it is time for the halftime... Marble Race! So, as I said before, if you guys want to get in on this, all you need to do is put exclamation point play into the chat, uh, just like this, and uh, you will be able to throw your balls around with the rest of us. And let's see, so right now we have Sammy, the gooding girl in here, we've got Lucy, king in space, uh, Jurassic Jacob, we've got Cat, Master Thief, Blue, Silver Bullet, Crimp the Shrimp, Dorino Facade, Virus, me, uh, Yin Yang Beetle, thank you for joining us as well, Yin Yang. And, uh, yeah, anyone else who wants to get in there, be sure to put exclamation point play into the chat right now. You guys picked a good time to drop by with this, uh, being our monthly demos and discount stream. Uh, because after this, we are going to do our monthly smash match to see who is going to win a free gift sub for the month. Alright, so... Looks like uh, everybody is in here. Everybody who wants to throw their balls around. Oh, hang on. Razzle is coming in. You want the treat that uh, that cat redeemed earlier, Razzle? Hey, the treat waiting for you here. So, someone redeemed a treat and you weren't here to claim it. So, Razzle. 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 Oh, it's a big fuzzy kitty. Ah, come here, you. Ah, come say hi to everybody. Hello, Razzle. There's your treat, by the way. Uh. Alrighty. Here. We. Go. We're gonna watch the balls drop, Razzle. The balls are dropping! It looks like I have the track record on this one at 3 minutes and 49 seconds. So, you guys are going after my record this time. Let's see. Who's gonna be the first one out? Who's gonna be the first one to plinko out? Yin Yang Beetle is going for it! But Silver could be making a play here. Silver and Master Thief both going for it. Here we go. There's some twisty tracks. There's some. There's multiple ways to go here. There's my ghost. Silver's trying to beat the ghost. Looks like everyone's on the outer tracks here. Silver seems to be maintaining lead. 
but Master Thief could be getting ahead here. Oh, oh, everything's getting uh, everything's getting clogged up here. Oh, hang on, there we go. It looks like in the confusion, Sammy, the good and girl, is getting out ahead here. Crip the shrimp and Yin Yang Beetle are going for it as well. Let's see, here's Yin Yang. Yin Yang and Sammy both getting on the. Uh, Oh, whoa, these are some twisty tracks here. This is some Sonic the Hedgehog nonsense going on here. Looks like Sammy is pushing on ahead. Oops, I need to go down that way. There we go. Sammy and Crimp the Shrimp are neck and neck, but Sammy is getting in the lead here. She is in the massive ball. Who's going to be the first one out of the ball here? Who's going to drop down? There's me defending my record. There I go. But Crimp and Sammy are going for it too. Whoops. Oh, I zoomed in. There we go. This will work. Oh, there's me. Look at me go. But Crimp the Shrimp. Oh, look at that. Of course. Yeah, that's a that's a very fitting, uh, uh, fitting picture for Crimp the Shrimp there. We appreciate it. We stand. There's mine. Ain't I cute? Mine was done by, uh, I've got a couple of different, uh, Avatars done by the same artist, uh, a lady by the name of Bug Socks on Twitter. Um, follow her, check her out, she's really cool. Here comes Jurassic Jacob, though. Jurassic Jacob, Blue and Cat, Firus Dorino. Oh, God, this is totally anybody's game right now. There are so many marbles that are all going for it. It looks like Blue could be in the lead here, not counting me, of course. But Blue is managing to stay ahead of Jacob here. He's in. There's the other cat. Oh, hang on. This was your treat, by the way. There you go, buddy. There's Blue. There's Jacob. They're going for it. Oh, are they going to, like, snoot trade through here? Oh, they both did. There's Yin Yang and Silver are coming ahead. But Blue and Jurassic Jacob... Now, this is where things could get split apart here. Oh, who's going to be the first one out of here? Is it going to be Dorino? Is Dorino going to take the lead? Oh, he got cut off a little bit there. Blue is still ahead. Here come the speed bumps. There goes Sammy. Sammy got yeeted. Oh, we're almost at the end here. It's down between Blue and Jacob. Blue looks like he's got, looks like he's got the lead here. And Blue coming in first place. Jurassic Jacob snooching second place there. And Yin Yang Beetle, the newcomer. Getting in third here. Fire is surviving as well. Looks like Cat Darren is still trying to live. Da, da, da. Looks like Master Thief is still in this as well. We'll see if the other balls here can survive the wave of destruction that is inevitably coming. There's King. Our dear friend Lucy. Crimp the Shrimp is still alive. Not the top three, but still surviving. That is the main thing now. Now it's a matter of pride. If you can still outrun the uh, the annihilation wave that comes up from behind if you take too damn long. Hey, buddy. I'll give you kisses. All right, Master Thief is in. All right, who else is Crimp the Shrimp? Oh, yeah. Like, you're still wet. I feel like you need to have a lot of balls in the race for uh, people to start uh, start take, getting taken out by the Annihilation Wave because that takes a while to start coming through. But Blue Fang Wolf, you are the winner this time around. That gives you three points to add on to your total for the month. Uh, giving you a total... You already had four, so that gives you a total of seven, which is very respectable for the end of the month here. And let's see, we had Jurassic Jacob in second place. Uh, that'll give you two points, adding to your monthly total of four, giving you an end total for the month of six and yin yang beetle uh coming in third there i'm going to add you to my list here uh giving you putting you on the board at the end of the month for the month uh, da -da, giving you a single point um but of course points reset every month which means that next stream we're doing it again everyone will have a chance uh, to start fresh but because this is our month end demos and discount stream uh, now it is time for the monthly smash match where you guys get to see what these points are for. So we're going to see, do, 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 I got to sort my data here. There we go to see who's in the lead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I need to have a tiebreaker round between these three. Okay. 
Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. You have 27 total? Oh, I don't know what the points go, uh, how they mean on the, uh, yeah, you've got 27 points in the game. Whatever that is, that's different from the way that I keep track of points in, like, my thing. That's, like, my own separate thing. But, uh, yeah, it looks like you've got uh, 29 points in marbles, however that works. I, I don't know how the points work in this game, honestly. Okay, so we're going to switch back over to the switch here. I'm going to close out of the marbles. Whoop, we're done with you. I'm going to close out of this. I don't need this open right now. Uh-huh. Yes, here we go. Okay, so now we're going to load up our Smash game, Smash Brothers Ultimate. And uh, while I have people in the chat here, uh, everyone feel free to tell me what your main is on Smash. I'm going to get a sip of water here. Not counting the DLC fighters, because I don't have the DLC. You can tell me who your uh, either favorite character is or your main and uh, you're going to see now what all the points go towards. But first, we need to have... Okay, I need to uh, do, 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 turn the volume up a little bit here. That seems about right. Okay. Uh, okay. So, smash match. Uh, smash. First thing is we need to have a bit of a, uh, a tiebreaker because we go with our top eight. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so the top tiebreaker for eighth place is going to be an elimination match. Uh, so between Derps McGurps, Derps McGurps, Luna Noir Hana, and Silver Bullet. So switch this to CPU, add another one in here. Okay, so fighting on behalf of Derps McGurps is Incineroar. Incineroar fighting on behalf of Luna Noir Hana we have Ness uh, where are you on this thing I hate how the I don't I don't like how the screen is organized by when they joined I would vastly prefer it if it was just based on uh, uh, to like game so like all the Pokemon were together and stuff like that uh, fighting on behalf of silver bullet is link see here Boop. all right so first up we got this uh quick elimination uh tiebreaker round to see who uh, who gets the eighth place spot because all three of these fighters had uh uh oh hang on i didn't uh yeah let me quit out of this real quick I didn't give them the right levels. I, ha I only had them all on level 1. They're supposed to be level 3, technically. And it's going to be real dull to have a bunch of them on level 1 just kind of not doing anything. Yeah, level 3 is what they're supposed to be at here. Because 3 people had 3 points, which means we need this tiebreaker round. There we go. That's better. All right, who's gonna who's gonna win the tiebreaker match here? Ness getting a good clock in there. So the way the elimination match works here is that it's oh yes, it's on uh, it's HP. So uh, you know that way it won't last too long. Link is down, and the uh, items are set to like all Pokeballs and like very common. So it's like there we go. So Incineroar is the victor in this quick elimination match. That means Incineroar will be fighting on behalf of Derps McGurps in the final round here. Bup, bup, oh, bup, bup. <laughs> Big rip, Silver. Okay, so I can take these guys out. No, not, yeah, just the computer player. I'm gonna go bup, 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 bup. Now it's gonna be a full, oh, I gotta go back and go to the other one though, that's right. We're going into our halftime show. This is the full halftime show. And let's see. So the last time... Okay, so we did Peach's Castle already. I think last time was Peach's Castle? I don't remember. Let me see. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to Congo Jungle for now anyway. 
So it's bop, and then it'll morph to the Omega version of it by the end of it. Okay. So this one is stock based. Okay, so let's make sure everyone is in here properly. So we've got Incineroar at level three, fighting on behalf of Derps my Gurps. Uh, da -da. We have uh, at level four, we have Ness fighting on behalf of Vento. Uh, let's see, we'll grab this link here. Uh, and we also have Pikachu at level six, fighting on behalf of Veleth. We have, boop, uh, da -da. we have Cloud in the Advent Children outfit at level six, fighting on behalf of Sammy. We have Kirby at level six. Fighting on behalf of Jurassic Jacob. We have... Now, Blue, if you're in the audience, you are up next. You have not chosen a champion. Since you are named Blue Fang Wolf, I feel like the obvious thing is to pick the character named Wolf. Or maybe Lucario, because he's more like a blue wolf. Um, but if you have another preference, then you can let me know. But your character, whatever you choose, will be at level 7. Oops. We also have uh, Cat. Uh, Cat Darren will have Ridley fighting on her behalf. Ridley. And Ridley will be at level 8. And last, but certainly not least, our front runner for the evening, we have Jigglypuff at level 9, fighting on behalf of Manners Day. Blue and for her Meta Knight. All right, we'll get Meta Knight in here. So where is... Da, 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 I had Wolf here. So hang on, let me pick this up. Choose Meta Knight instead. I'm going to write that down for you here. Meta. Oh. Meta Knight, there we go. And this match will determine who is going to get a free gift sub. For the month, if the winner is already subbed, then it'll go to a random member of the community in their honor. And here we go. Who's going to get it? Who's going to be the victor? Jigglypuff is the front runner, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to get it. Our champions are beginning the battle so the rules for this is that we do the uh, the items are low we only have uh, uh, ass uh assist trophies are the only items that will show up they will occasionally show up just so we'll have more characters joining in the insanity um but the uh the final smash gauge is active so we may still yet see some final smashes and it looks like everyone is hanging in there so far it's always chaos when it starts up. It looks like Alucard has been summoned. Alucard is on the field. Uh, Sammy, you are in here, I believe. Or actually, no, you were in the... Uh, uh, da -da. Let's see. Yes, you were in here. Cloud is fighting for you, Sammy. So the Cloud is fighting on your behalf. And he's, uh, he's hanging in there. He has not lost a life yet. What's up, Razzle? All right, looks like Meta Knight is down one, Kirby is down one, Ness is down one. All right, Pikachu Cloud and Jigglypuff are currently in the leads. That's down to Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu is currently in the lead. Oh, but now Pikachu has lost a life as well. This is still very much anyone's game. Little Mac is... Is that... No, that's not Little Mac. That is a... Uh, uh, the dude from uh, from arms, which is apparently a word that I can't say according to YouTube comments. They all make fun of the way I say arms. 
but I legitimately don't know how I'm supposed to say that word, so screw those guys. Alright, some people are down to only one life, but no one is- Oh my god, here comes the moon! It's Majora's Mask up in here. The moon just came down and screwed some people up, but oh, we've got multiple. Oh, Ridley taking Incineroar into space and taking him out. But Incineroar is still in it, is it? Oh, Mother Brain is getting in there too. Oh my god, this is madness. This is chaos. We've got Mother Brain and a giant Jigglypuff. That, it, that Yeah, that was Ridley's final smash. We've also got... Oh, Kirby is putting the hurt on some folks down there. Meta Knight is down. Incineroar is down. Ness has a final smash. And here it goes, the Star Storm. Cloud is down. The ultimate... Oh, the Zelda Moon? No, I think that's just an assist trophy. The Majora's Mask Moon? That's just a trophy you can pick up and it comes down and smashes everybody. Pikachu is doing some damage. Pikachu is currently in the lead. It's down to Pikachu, Ness, Ridley, and Jigglypuff. We are down to the, uh, the final destination area of the stage here. I don't know, is that a Final Fantasy or like Legend of Mana creature there? I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know what that, that, uh, that thing that summon on the right hand side is there. Oh, Pikachu's taking a hit there. Pikachu is currently in the lead. Doing quite well. Oh, Ridley is down. Pikachu also, oh, Pikachu summoned Minna. And, oh, Pikachu, Pikachu appears to have this in the bag. We'll see if Ness can pull it out here. Let's see. Here comes Ness coming back. Oh, but Pikachu with the downward smash. My god. Oh, my goodness. So, Pikachu fighting on behalf of Vento as one this time around. And this is why I say that having the uh, the top number of points, like having the highest level character, does not guarantee you the win. Because we had level 6, level 7, 8, and 9 fighters in this match, and Pikachu was level 4. Pikachu still won. So, Pikachu, or no, sorry, Pikachu was level 6, rather. Pikachu was level 6 fighting on behalf of Veleth. Ness was fighting on behalf of Vento. Ness got to second place. Ness was the one that was level four. Sorry. And the, the level nine character got third place. But yes, very congratulations to Veleth. Let me see. Veleth, are you currently subbed? If you are not... Oh, hang on. I need to go to my actual Twitch page here instead of just the thing here. Oh. Oop. We are going to gift a sub to Veleth, unless Veleth is already subbed, in which case it'll go out to a random member of the community on their behalf. Here we go. Specific viewers. That's the right, right one, right? Yeah, Pikachu, Veleth. Yep, that's it. Veleth. Oh. Veleth. I gotta make sure I put the underscore in there. Yep, there it is. It's uh, Veleth is the winner this time around. So, gift subscription to Veleth. Complete. <laughs> ba -da -da. So thank you once again very much to everybody who entered into the monthly Smash Match and to the uh, the halftime show. And of course, if you enjoy this, if you had a good time and you want a chance to get in on this action next month, then the points reset right now. So starting next week, we'll have a fresh, uh, fresh chance for new faces and new people to get in there and uh, potentially win a free gift sub there we go that is it for the smash for today and now we're gonna see what else we've got going on here what else do we want to play today because we still got some time left of course that was just the halftime show what is 10 second run return special demo what what is this what do we got going on here what is our special demo for 10 second run returns? Oh jeez, oh hang on. That's a smidge loud.
Get to goal within 10 seconds. Do not time out. Hit an enemy or fall into a hole. Collect stars from each course to unlock new courses and characters. Okay. Sideways move. Jump. Dash. Okay, jump and dash. And there's a wall jump. Okay. Challenge. Okay. It's, it's a bit loud in my ears. Hang on. Uh, ah! Not used to the jump arc. Time up. Try that again. Whoop. Clear. Went to Hyrule Cast to get a memory, taking it. Uh, the Guardian and... Uh, the Guardian Moblin's high-grade weapons, and it hasn't appeared yet. Oh, the memory in uh, Hyrule Castle? Yeah, I know there's like a specific spot for it. Oh. Dang it. Okay. Retry. Failure. Don't call me out like that game, jeez. This is neat. Oh, I, I, I can get down with this. Ah! Go. Do what I could! Hell yeah. It's like just cycling between these two. Hang on, let me see if I can get like all the stars to unlock the next course. There we go. This is very, uh, very fast paced and I like that about it. Nice. So that'll give me a new course. Oh, no, that's it. Oh, I can select a new course. Okay. Oh, hang on. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, there's supposed to be a wall jump. Ooh, this is trippy. Ah, ah, ah. Ah! Dang it. Let me just see if I can just run to the end of this. See, that's easy enough. Okay, this game is neat. I think, I, I think I'm done with this, but that was, that's cool. Let's, uh, oops, closing software. Yeah, let's, uh, yeet that one. Goodbye. Okay. What else do we have in here? Hang on. What what is this thing? Ayakashi Koi Gikyoku. Ayakashi Koi Gikyoku free trial. Okay. I don't know what this is or why I downloaded it, but it's a demo, so okay. I don't know if this is one of those uh in which language will you start the game? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if this is one of those dating sim games that I randomly downloaded. There we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> Prologue. Main part. Option? Uh, yeah. Let's, uh... That's a bit better. Have the... There we go. That's good. Just want to have the voice a little bit louder than that. Autoplay scene off. Text display speed. Fast. <laughs> purple boy and red boy look good. Yeah. Yeah, I can get down with purple boy. I think blue. the blue one is probably more my type, I think. Oh, hero. heroine's name. Suzuno. 
Uh, all right. Let's go with Mary, but with an I. My name is Mary. Uh, name may have up to seven characters. From the beginning, your name will be Mary. Proceed. Sure. Ayakashi. Koi. Okay. These are some beautiful boys right here. The moon and stars. Okay, the song kind of slaps. This is like an anime opening or something. I'm trying to turn it down in my own ears, though. Hey, Vento, how's it going? Thank you for joining us. The moon and stars are starting to appear in the sky. Even though the light from the moon is streaming in from the window, it's just too dark to see anything on the other side of the stairs in the basement of this building. The only sound that can be heard is a low-frequency bass echoing rhythmically. I'm a little scared. I grasp the jewel pendant dangling around my neck unconsciously. I've had this Magatama necklace since before I can remember. It's like a charm. I touch the jewel when I'm insecure or nervous. Hey. Is this, is this your first rock concert? Cousin. Okay, this is our cousin. Kind of. I've never been to... Uh, I've been to a concert live house... I've been to a con... I've been to a concert live house before, but never anything like this. It's a little different to a regular concert. There are some stalls with banned merchandise and even street food. It's kind of like a festival in that respect. But this kind of live bar, especially the ones in, held in the basement, took like a, it took like non-regular attendees, or it looks like non-regular attendees aren't welcome. It feels a little intimidating, like only the most devoted fans are allowed. Uh, Newbies aren't going to be comfortable. Get, uh, aren't going to be comfortable to get in, I guess. Newbies aren't going to be comfortable to get in, I guess. The localization on this one is a little iffy, I think. My cousin put a bitter smile, put a bitter smile and was tapping my shoulder. I was way too nervous. Don't pull such a gloomy face. It's not that scary a place. It was a bit of a, a bit of a rhyme there. Fox Ear is the band group Foxier is the band group of unique five Visual K member, with each and one of the members put the fox ear. <laughs> fox ear is the band group of unique five Visual K member, with each and one of the members put the fox ear. I know, it doesn't... Yeah, no, they... They definitely didn't b bother to hire a proofreader on this one. This is like... This is like... This reads like Ikea instructions. They quickly became popular from the grand debut. My cousin works as a manager of that fox ear. Is it really okay that I came along? I know it's really difficult to get the tickets. I heard that it's slightly competitive. Even the people in the fan club aren't always guaranteed to get a ticket. Plus, I'm in their live concert, even though I don't know much about them. Aren't I a little out of place? I came because I, ha I came because I had time and was bored. When the restaurant I had been working at for such a long time closed down and I lost my job, my cousin invited me to this live concert suddenly. Like I've got it. I've got to wonder, like, why the English translation is clearly not written by a native English speaker. There was one guest pass left, and as, and as their manager, I want to make the concert full. It's okay if you don't know them. Hopefully, you will become their fan. You are more than welcome to come, even if you don't know them much. If you become a fan from now on, it's even better. I felt slightly better about it after my cousin winked and told me that. I went downstairs to the ticketing office. Maybe a live concert had already started. There was only one staff at the ticket counter. Yeah, no, Sammy, if you're going for that Hyrule uh, Castle uh, 
memory? I, I, I'm going for that one last. Like, even in the run that I'm doing, like, right now on Switch, like, I got all the other memories, and I'm w leaving that one until I actually go to Hyrule Castle. I went downstairs to the ticketing office. Maybe the live concert has already stirred it. There is only one staff at the ticketing counter. Hi! Oh, you're the cousin of the manager, right? Please enter from this side. I guess my cousin already told them about me. I was able to pass the reception easily. Oh, I forgot. Wait a second. Today we are giving out original photographs to each guest. Please choose one. Um, okay. According to the person at the ticket counter, all the members of Fox Ear can sing as well as play their respective instruments. Hmm, which photo should I pick? Oh, I can't even... Let me see the photos. Lead rhythm and guitar, drum and bass, keyboard. Uh, I mean, this is the obvious one, but I'm going to issue expectations to go with the drum and bass. Okay then, drum and bass. I didn't know about much of any of them, but I grabbed one of the photos. It was a photo taken during the concert. It'd be nice if we could see the photos, but I guess they didn't want to draw them, so... Wanted to drop by for a second before you lurk. Always appreciate it, Vento. You're awesome, and thank you so much for dropping in. It was a photo taken during the concert. There's a short message written on the front. Look at this beautiful boy. Endless power exists within music. It'll reach you when we play for you. This guy's cute, though. Let me, let me send my love for you through our music. Yeah, he's got, like, the painted nails and everything, which I dig. Yeah, the choke around. This, this guy's cute. The short messages really showed the personalities of each individual member. There are so many messages from fans on the walls, all of them madly in love with their members. Akito has the most incredible voice. I can't see anyone but you, Kasumi. Uki, you're so adorable. Hold me close, Kusuke. Keisuke? Is that, is that supposed to be Keisuke? Yell at me, Kosei! Each message is written about their feelings of adoration. The board is filled with these kinds of messages. Moved further inside, there's he a heavy... Moved further inside, there's heavy, soundproofed door. You can hear the beat of the bass pumping into the heart stronger and stronger. Enjoy the concert. When my cousin pushed the door, using his entire body, the wave of sound almost swallowed me in. Yeah, I think I like the drummer. He's cute. He's, he's the, the drummer is the, uh, the kind of guy that, uh, that appeals to my specific brand of bisexuality. That being said, they're all pretty cute. Oh, wow. So this is how it feels when, the mu when it's live music. Until I opened the door, I didn't hear anything except for the low vibration of the bass. The drummer is skillfully beating the rhythm with drumsticks. The guitarist is forcefully, yet rhythmically, plucking the strings of his guitar. Who my! The keyboardist is exquisitely hitting the keys and delivering the soft melody. When I entered, it was the interlude, and the drummer was masterfully following the beat of the song. They have a certain impact on you, right? They didn't draw the attention just with their eccentric fashion. They make great songs. Real music. The sound was so aggressive that my cousin needs to weave through his voice to talk to me. It's really weird. The sound must be big, but I don't feel like it's too loud. We don't usually reveal the past and identities of the members, but if you'd like, I can introduce them to you. My cousin gave me a brief introduction to each member. The one in the middle is the lead guitarist, Akito, and is the life and soul of Fox Ear. Next to him is Akito's twin brother, Kasumi. He's the rhythm guitarist. He's really outgoing and stops Akito from getting in too much trouble. The name Fox Ear in like all caps just makes me feel like, you know, Solid Snake is going to bust in at some point. The opposite side is the bassist, Kosei. Calm and logical, but... A uh, little stubborn leader. A little bit stubborn leader. The one who's playing drums is Uki. He's, ge he's genius and friendly. So he's like Tails the Fox. He's genius and friendly. He's even got the yellow ears. 
and kind of a foxtail, I guess. The keyboard player, Keisuke, Keisuke, is the oldest. He's sort of mysterious and aloof compared to the others and almost impossible to read. I was watching each of them on the stage while getting introductions of the member. Yeah, no, I wish, uh, I wish these guys would give me introductions of the member. <laughs> No wonder they are popular, all the members attractive and unique with auras that really stand out from each other. They seem to have many friends and tons of fans. Seriously, was it okay for me to come to the concert easily? Dude, your cousin is the manager, you had an in, just kind of enjoy your- like, it's- it's fine. Chill out. My eyes were drawn to the stage for a little while, then the lead guitarist, Akito, starts shouting. Are you ready? Here we go! Come on, everyone! Huge cheering erupts from the audience. The band's members start to sing. It's usual for five members of the band to... S it's unusual for all five members of the band to sing at once. Akito is hot and aggressive. Kasumi is calm and soft. Kosei has a voice that's the opposite of how he looks. Really raw and passionate. Yuki is sweet and... Keisuke has a sexy voice. The five voices start to overlap and harmonize with each other. I was shaking. What an impact! This is different from the usual visual K-band I know. All oh, the voices have a strength and echo through the hall. I don't know why, but my heart hurts. Huh? My, my necklace. A Magatama started to shine. What? What is it? I tried to cover the lights, but the uh, but it beaming. I tried to cover the lights, but it beaming through my hands. Light swallowed me in. Huh? Where am I? It's a quiet residential area with a line of houses. A dim, <laughs> uh, a dim light is illuminating the window. Oh, is it? I've never been here before. Could it be? Hmm. Someone's calling me. I think I know what's happening here. I could hear voice. I could hear the voices of many people traveling through the wind as my hair whipped around my face. You have to choose whether you're going to leave the town with the fox or seal the fox properly as your job as an Oni Myoji, Japanese sorcerer. To seal On Myoji? In love with the fox? I don't really understand what it's about, but the whispering voices are getting louder. I wanted to shut out the voices except for one kind of voice that was somehow comforting. It's a goodbye. Suddenly when I look up, there's a bashful white fox with a golden eye staring directly at me. Thank you. I'm so happy that we could meet. Then it turned away from me and faded into the darkness. Wait. I didn't know what I muttered as I opened my eyes gradually, an unfamiliar white ceiling and light slowly came into view. Finally, she's awake. Ah, For a second I thought we were going full isekai. I was, gonna, I was gonna get excited and get up and run around and, you know, ring the isekai uh, bell. Which, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a, uh, a, a common trope of, like, Jap some anime and, like, a lot of, like, visual novels and stuff is that they end up in, like, an alternate universe or like an alternate world like a lot of the times very similar to like ancient Japan or something like that so for a second this looked like it was making a sharp left turn in the isekai territory <laughs> finally she's awake I didn't know she was this close to us existed in a blind I didn't know she was this close to us existed in a blind spot the cousin of our manager do you know about us? I don't think so. She looks stunned. I hear so many unfamiliar voices all of a sudden. Hi, uh, I'll be your new groupie. Where's this? Who are you guys? I realized it was a stupid question to ask. Well, they were the five band members that were on stage earlier. It surprised me that all five members of Fox Ear were surrounding and watching me. What's going on? I was so confused that I didn't know what to say. They were the ones who were on the stage, getting all the praises and cheers from their fans. What happened to the concert? Where's my cousin? Our manager brought you here after you passed out. He's now packing away all the equipment and stuff. 
The rhythm guitarist, Kasumi, explained to me what happened when I collapsed. Finally realized I must have passed out. Oh, hello, Derps McGurps. How's it going? Thank you for joining us. I think I missed a moral mix with Sword Art Online and you're greatly disturbed. Uh, that's probably what this is going to be. We were able to resume for the concert and finished everything, but... It was a bright light you created. Uh, it was the bright light you created. There was a bit of a mess afterward. Suddenly, it became really bright. Oh, my necklace started to shine. I, che uh, I checked my necklace quickly. It's not shining anymore. It's back to the usual smoothly curved, beautiful stone. See, I kind of wish that in like gating, dating games like this, you could choose your uh, your gender identity at the beginning of it. So that, uh, uh, basically, I just want this to be gay. I don't know. You know, it is what it is. Check my necklace quickly. It's not shining anymore. It's back to the usual smoothly curved, beautiful stone. Seems like it's back to normal now, yeah? Drum player Uki looks into it closely. I don't understand much about the situation, but I have caused you a trouble because of this. Hey, Nanners, how's it going? Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a good day thus far. We're playing a, an awkwardly translated uh, visual novel of some kind. It's the demo. We don't know how far we're going to get into it. <laughs> I just want it to be gay. Yes, exactly. You, Lucy understands me. Uh, I still don't understand uh, much about what happened, so I'm sorry for causing you any trouble. I thought about b uh, bowing to apologize, even though I don't remember anything. Suddenly, the lead guitarist, Akito, starts to stomp towards me and ag stomp tw <laughs> stomps towards me aggressively and reaches towards my chest. Oh, stranger danger. Oh, right, the Magatama. Yeah, that's it. Give me that dangling thing on your necklace. Akito reaches his hand towards my necklace all of the sudden. What? What are you doing? There was a scary expression with hatred, and I was confused, and started to defend as a reflection. In that moment, he looked so scary. I was confused to why his face expressed such hatred towards me. I tensed defensively, ready to defend myself. Yes, that's typically what happens when you get defensive. Suddenly, Akito is thrown back against the wall. What the... N nani It's that light again. Everyone suddenly froze in confusion. I was so surprised. The only sound I could hear was my own jagged breathing. What is the Bagatama doing? It's glowing. Also, what is it with... I don't know, maybe it's just this and, like, Phoenix Wright, but what is it with these, like, visual novel games and, like, magical Magatamas? Maybe it's a Japanese thing. I see. It's trying to defend her. Out of all five members, the key keyboard player Keisuke was the only one who puts under his chin and calmly murmured. What's going on? I thought the Magatama was ours. I know it's very rude to ask, but can you hand this Magatama to us? The bassist, Kosei, who was observing quietly up until this point, finally spoke. He is not as headstrong and forceful as Akito. Because of the gentleness of his words, I was able to find my voice and speak. It's been passed on in our family for generations. I received it from my grandmother. Once the girl is born in the family, we are supposed to pass on. I know I'm not from such a prominent family, but this necklace was passed down to me as an heirloom. It's like a special charm for us, but I didn't know it could project beams of light like this. I'm so sorry, but I can't just give it to you. When I said this, Akito started to be angry and glare at me. Huh? huh? You said it's only a charm? Shut up! You don't even know what it is! What? Calm down, bro. You can't just take it by force. Ugh. Yeah, to blow Akito away like that. What a strong power. Everyone starts to stare at my Magatama. What power? I haven't heard anything from my grandmother or anyone. By the looks of it, it belongs to the human now. In order to get the necklace, you have to make her surrender. KSK starts speaking as if he knows something we don't. What are you talking about? Damn! You must be the... You mean the human? You must be joking. Akito started clenching his teeth. But that means... 
we need to be friends with her? <laughs> Surrender, eh? 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 Uki jumped right in front of me and started to offer his hand to shake. Nice to meet you. I'm Fox Ears, drum player Uki. Let's be friends. I think he's older than me. His smile He smiles innocently and talks really friendly. Well, I'm glad to know that this guy is at least older because that uh, justifies a few things that have been running through my... Don't worry about it. Nice to meet you. I'm getting confused and started to shake his hand when he smiled. <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink. Eh, eh. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Say no more, say no more. 420 points. Hell yeah, crimp. Well, it's really simple, but it's the smartest way. I can't believe it. How dare you become friends with a human? Closed to the human being? I kept on hearing a really weird conversation. Do they not like people, or is it part of their onstage persona? I see. Sometimes they say I'm a demon or 500 years old as a set character. Aren't they? Akito. Clearly he did. Come on. If you're going to like have awkward translation. Like he clearly called him like brother or something like that there. You went to 430. Oh no. That's okay. You just got to wait for it to get to like. uh, What was it? What's the. Yeah, the highlight my message. Yeah, you can, uh, that's, that's the next one. You can wait for it to get to, uh, uh, three or five, 520, and then you can highlight a message and say something. And be like, hell yeah. Akito? He spoke so matter-of-factly before pausing. You, sh you shouldn't say anything else for now. 69, 420, go for it. Kosei is leering at me like he's choosing a product in a shop. What is this all about? Why do you want this Magatama so much? It's nothing to do with you. It's... My... It's so much to do with me. What? I hesitated for a moment because of Akito's harsh words. It's about my necklace, so you can't say it's nothing to do with me. Yeah, exactly. Keisuke put a bitter smile when I claimed. Yes, that doesn't fake anything at all. Oh well, it's Akito. I don't understand what you're trying to say with that sentence. He had the kind of cheeky smile that suggested he wouldn't explain anything at all. He seemed nice, but a difficult person. The other members are quietly thinking as, I, as though they are planning something. I started to feel apprehensive, so I stood up to leave. You're almost at 50k? Hell yeah, king! Rack em up! Uh, I know I've made trouble for you, so I'll come back for proper apologies again. I'm gonna leave for today. Kasumi stands in front of me, blocking the way out. I'm sorry, but we can't release you right now. <laughs> yeah, this translation is something, isn't it? But, you know, imprisoning her, it's not going to solve the problem. This talk of imprisonment scared me even more. I have to run. Just out the window. <laughs> Please don't be scared. Hey guys, Akito, Kasumi, Kosei, you're pulling a scary face, knock it off. Uki started, uh, started to, st Uki started to stood up for me. Hell yeah, Lucy, you get it. As Uki said, with you three behaving like this, she's not going to open up to us. What are you trying to say? What about her becoming an assistant manager for our band? Assistant manager? Things happened so quickly that I lost track of the conversation. I finally spoke again and Uki started to clap out of joy. Keisuke, what are you saying? Oh, that's perfect, Keisuke. I actually like her. I think we can I think we can trust if she's our manager's cousin. You can't say that all of the sudden. I can't be an assistant manager. When I tried to decline the offer, my cousin came in. Hey guys. Oh, I'm glad you are awake now. Mm, what happened? When he entered, he realized the tensed atmosphere in the room. Well, well, you came at the right moment. We were talking to her about it. We really like your cousin. Huh? Keisuke? You were looking for an assistant manager, right? We thought she'd be a good fit for the role, so we're asking her about it. 
My cousin seemed happy when Keisuke explained the situation to him. That sounds like a good idea. There aren't many people they like, so it was really difficult to find someone suitable for the job. If you don't mind, can you help us out by working here? As a part-timer? Hold on, wait a minute. Fox here is getting popular and popular. But we were lacking the manpower. Also, you were looking for a part-time job, right? Well, that's true, but... Well, that's settled. You can become you can become assistant manager. It, I'd be very happy. I don't know what to do. My eyes met with Akito's amber eyes, and I was reminded of the fox in my dream. My heart aches as I remember the beautiful fox. Somehow, their expressions are the same. What? We didn't draw the other one, but just take our word for it that they look alike. I had eye contact with Akito's orangish orangish red eyes. It's like the fox I've seen in the dream. Y you didn't see it. We saw it, though. Don't worry about it. Trust us. We, we don't need to draw it. It's fine. The glaring expression was very different from the calm and sad golden eyes in the dream. You could tell that if we drew it, but we didn't bother. Someone's t but something tells that it's the same beauty. What is it? That dream. This pain. Difficult to even breath. That doesn't say breathe, that says breath. The dream and Akito. Maybe they have some connection to each other. As I realize this, the Magatama necklace starts to burn hotter. What is with this Magatama? How do they stay in the same position for that long? Yeah, that's like this old, like, ha! Ah, stood like this for a while. Oh, he looks like he's in pretty good shape. It's a nice, nice abdominal muscles going on. This is a very nice, uh, I'm just gonna, I wasn't touching the screen. What are you talking about? There was many things I couldn't understand why it's been passed on for generations, why there are people who want this Magatama. I'm gonna read this again, bearing in mind that there's no punctuation until the very end. There was many things I couldn't understand. Okay, there's a period there. There was many things I couldn't understand. First sentence. Second sentence. Why it's been passed on for generations, why there are people who want this Magatama. What is this Magatama? If I run away now, I might never figure everything out. I didn't realize how much this decision could change my destiny drastically. I kept on having that flashback of the dream that I nodded. I'm so glad that we're doing this. I didn't know how much this decision can change my destiny drastically. This is phenomenal. The office is nearby the station. It's very easy to find. Also, we got the anime opening again. There's a line down his chest, yeah. That's just the abdominals. The office is nearby the station. It's very easy to find. I found myself standing right in front of the Fox Ear office. I know agreed... I know agreed to take the job, but I don't know whether I'll be able to work as an assistant manager properly. Good morning. You start with greeting... You start with greeting once you open the door. My cousin told me... In this industry, morning and even in the night, you greet saying good morning. It's not even like keeping the personage consistent in like the same screen. It says you greet, you start with greeting once you open the door. My cousin told me, Good morning, thank you for coming. Their schedule is filled every second, but I can't run everything by myself. Oh, it's from the studio. Hi, Fox Ears office. My cousin, cousin looks very busy. He's talking on the phone while also sorting through lots of papers. So many things happened yesterday, I forgot to ask about the Magatama. Okay, sure, I'll send them right away. When he finished on the phone, I asked him directly. We have the same grandmother, so maybe she might know something. Hey, about the Magatama, why do you think it started glowing? 
Mogatama? What, what are you on about? It was just a flash from one of the fans' glow sticks. Huh? I was surprised by his answer. I know they're, they are way too excited about the concert, but we need to make the inspection of personal belongings more carefully. Well, I'll try to fix that problem. I'm so glad there was not much trouble. You don't have any problem with your health, right? What's going on? I thought my cousin also saw my necklace flashed. Maybe I was dreaming. I feel like I'm, I'm almost more bothered by the fact that they forget to put a period in half the time. Like, the, the punctuation is bad. I, I can deal with the awkward wording. That's hilarious. The, uh, the lack of punctuation at the end of sentences is just... Yeah. That's poor editing. Let's start from the beginning. What can you do first? Is it what you can you do, what can you do first or what can you do first? Well, I guess that's the end of that. It's like main part for start. Continue. Oh, from the begin. Oh, we just like straight up like pick a uh, a route to go. Character select. Yeah, is this like picking a route? Uki. Do you wish to begin Uki's main route? This is supposed to be just a demo. I wonder how far this goes. After the rush hour, there were not many people going into the offices. The papers didn't fit into my bag, so I held it as I, wait, as I waited for the train. I hope it's going to be alright. It was the day after the concert. You know, Uki, despite the fact that, you know, whether or not I think he's the cute one, he does seem to be, like, the nicest one out of the group. It was the day after the concert. Each of Foxy are members of individual jobs in the afternoon. First job is to attend to them. I think Uki's magazine interview will be good. He's really friendly, so you don't have to be that nervous. Cousin told me that, but I was really worried. I know he seems friendly, but I'm nervous anyway. I have to go to the interview this afternoon. As I decided that, my phone rang. I don't know this number. Wondering who this was, I picked up the phone. Good morning, Mary. Also, it's kind of lame that like you just pick a character to go through the route of instead of it being like choices throughout the game. This voice. It was a bright voice, almost like a little boy. Mr. Uki? Correct, you remembered me. I'm happy. Mr. Uki? Ah, call me Uki. Mr. Uki is too formal. Then Uki, how did you get my number? I got it from the manager. Hmm? You didn't have my number in your contacts yet? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, I heard from my cousin, but I haven't. I'm gonna sulk. I'm sorry. I'm kidding, just add me to your contact list later. Sure, uh, so is there anything I can do? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uki was just as friendly as he seemed yesterday. It was com comforting. I heard that you are working later. Do you have any time until then? Yes, apparently. Do you want to have lunch? With you, Uki? I mean with everyone. We all need to talk together. Have lunch with Foxy, remember? Even the thought of that makes me nervous. Mary? Hmm? Are you shy? It's not that I'm shy, but... Nervous? Yes. Haha, <laughs> you are so cute. Uki's voice sounds really bright over the phone. I'm not cute. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because you're nervous. I'm just teasing. You are cute, though. Hey, Mary. Yes? You're going to be one of us, so you don't have to be shy, uh, shy or nervous. Let's get to know each other while we dine together. Then I'll come right away. Hell yeah, you will. No, no, no. cut that out. Edit that one out. Don't like it. Yep, we'll be in our apartment. You know the address, right? Yes. All the Foxier members are living in the same apartment owned by the company. If I take the train from the station, it will be pretty close. I'll be waiting in my room. Promises, promises. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Or when the demo decides to cut off. These really are awkward conversations. Yeah. Doesn't help that one of the band members tried to, like, attack me and steal my Magatama. Which is why we're not on his route. Let's screw that guy. Hello. Come on in. Oh, so he doesn't have the... 
it made it seem like they were actually like fox demons or something like that. But now like he's got the ears off and he doesn't have the tail on. So I guess they're not. I guess they're just... Yeah, I guess it really was just part of their personality. Their onstage personality. Door opened wide and Uki came out with a smile. <laughs> ah, you look so nervous. Come on in. Fox demons can shapeshift the sneaky bastards. Come on in. As Uki said then, he grabbed my hand and dragged me to my room. So it's still a possibility. Mary's here. And then we make out with Uki and then that's that route down, I guess. I don't know. I know, you're noisy. Kosei spoke up from his, looked up from his work as he spoke. Hello. Make yourself at home. He immediately went back to his writing. I could tell he was not cold-hearted, but there was an uncomfortable atmosphere in the air. Oh, Kosei. As he felt me staring, Kosei raised his head once again. What's wrong? Is there anything on my face? Uh, no, nothing is there. But do you normally wear glasses? My eyesight isn't so good. Is that bad? No, it's refreshing to me. It's a weird way to... Okay. It was felt very weird to see how everyone dressed while they were at home. Even though this must be normal for them. It was just what I thought Uki and Kosei would wear. Ah, that's it. I realized the main reason they looked so different and I raised my voice in surprise. What's up? You look different from usual and it's your fox ears. Of course you don't wear ears at home. Yeah. Of course. Mary, are you a natural airhead? As Uki, I'll have you know it comes very natural. This is all natural. As Uki said that, he started laughing. Kosei and Uki shared a momentary glance, but I couldn't quite tell what they were thinking. Ah, Mary, you're fast. I'm fast? Okay. Kasumi appeared, carrying a large pile of papers. Hi, Kasumi. Is that paperwork? May I help you with anything? I'm okay, thank you. Kasumi's smile made me feel less nervous, lightening the atmosphere in the room. Hey, Kasumi. What's for lunch? Is it that time already? I haven't had a chance to cook lunch yet. Yeah, I'm hungry. Kasumi sighed softly, looking a little troubled, even as he kept a smile on his face. Sanic the Hodgehog. <laughs> Love it. Kasumi, are you going to cook? As we are using Uki's room, Kasumi offered. <clears throat> I see. He's like their mother. Well, that makes him a MILF, I guess, technically. Hey, Uki. Ooh, I need water. <clears throat> Whew, doing these dialogue heavy ones really gets to me after a while. What? If you're that hungry, why don't you cook lunch yourself? Come on, go get some groceries. Yeah, why me? You wanted to eat food, so it's only fair that you should cook. That's a bit more logical. Very logical, Captain. All right. It was a fight Uki wouldn't be able to win, so he nodded obediently. I'll go with you. Is that okay? Sure, I'm supposed to be your manager. I'm gonna manage this boy. Yay! I know you were only I know you were only going to help get groceries, but will you cook with me too? If it's okay with you, I'm not that cooking that good at cooking though. Okay, it's okay. I'm just happy to have some of Mary's cooking. We'll leave now. We go outdoor now. Fine, just go. Jesus. <laughs> manager is best manager. We're such a good assistant manager. Bye. See you later. Oh, this is a nice little store. It was during lunchtime, so there were many people in the supermarket. Oh, the eggs are cheap today. Hey, you shouldn't talk so loud. Uki's adorable appearance was catching the eye of many people passing by. Women and young girls were stealing glances and whispering to one other. And, uh, yeah, women and young girls. And one guy. This one. What's up? You stand out a lot, Oo. I was going to say his name, but I quickly stopped myself. 
I said his name, they might notice that he's Uki from Foxier. It'll be alright, no one knows that it's me. Well, that's okay then. What do you want to eat? What kinds of food do the other members like? Um, who do you want to know about? You! Yuki? Up! Oh! Also, the, uh... The frame rate on that was a little choppy. I want to know Uki's. Mine? Yuki's eyes shined. Heh, <laughs> does that mean you're interested in me? We're gonna get that dick! As Uki said, he looked into my eyes. He clenched a little and looked up. Those lovely round eyes. My heart skipped a beat. Hey, Zant. We're gonna get that dick. Um, it's not an interest, more like... I was embarrassed somehow and didn't really know how to answer. Your face is red. Uki looked at me with a glint in his eye and laughed. <laughs> I'm happy as long as you are interested in getting to know me. Getting to know that dick! I really like spicy food. Oh, I really like really spicy food. Okay. Wow, that's surprising. I can get down with spice. I'm not, uh... For a long time, true story, for a long time I thought I like didn't like spicy food. Turns out I just don't like buffalo sauce. The specific flavor of buffalo? Not a big fan. Spicy food I can do depending on how harsh it is. Others keep on saying I look like I'm a sweet tooth. Yeah, you look like you are a sweet tooth. I really hate... I really hair sweet stuff. Kosei, on the other hand, is a sweet tooth. Don't judge me. I feel like the judgment radiating from the cat right now. Right, there are fans who think it's the complete opposite. What about other members? Like Keisuke, what do you think he likes? Uh, I heard that he likes curry, but I don't really know Keisuke's favorites. Yeah, he's sort of an unusual type. Oh, Keisuke and Akito weren't the, at the apartment earlier. He's a judgy cat, but I love him. Maybe he doesn't like foxes, maybe that's it. I probably went for a walk. Akito is probably going around on his motorbike. I see. The motorbike... The motorbike sweets Akito. Can you believe this shit? Right? Akito is easy to pinpoint. No space between right and Akito, but they put a space between pinpoint and the, uh, and the period there. He likes Korean barbecue and junk food. He acts just like he looks. Ah, I see. Oh, he likes this barbecue sauce. No period on this one. Yes, we do say motorbike. He pointed at the sauce with an amused expression. We all have different favorites, so don't worry about it much. Really? Uh, but Kasumi has a weak body. Excuse me. His stomach isn't that st strong, so try not to give him something that's difficult to digest. Alright, Uki. You really are kind. You care about the other members. What Uki's talking about the others, he looks so... Well, when Uki's talking about the others, he looks so happy. That makes sense. You really love your group. I was able to understand his feelings. <laughs> I really love them. If they weren't around, I... Uki? For a moment, Uki looked far away. Traces of sadness in his pure smile. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. That's right, I want to have a nice rice omelette. The eggs are cheap. Ooh, omelette sounds good. Also, it's hard to stay depressed with this, uh, with this grocery store music jamming in the background. With a smile, he puts the eggs inside the basket. We got eggs! Uh, when we got back to the apartment, Uki and I started to make the rice omelette. Seems like Uki doesn't cook much. He had a hard time cracking an egg. It's like, oops, I broke it again. That's like... Is that not what, what the goal was? 
It's okay, we're going to mix it together anyway. Your understanding of Uki has increased. Yeah! Yeah, Miri, you really you're really skilled at this. I feel like I'm just disturbing you. That's not true. Really? Yes. Okay, then I'll do my best. What should I do next? Can you whisk those eggs, please? All right. Hey, what is it? I'm really starting to enjoy this. Uki seems like he's going to start humming while stirring the eggs. It makes it fun to watch him find joy in cooking. Uki, me too. I'm enjoying this a lot. Thanks for waiting. Uki and I present the rice omelette that we made. What? Why you gotta judge me, dude? I'm just having a good time here. While we were cooking, everyone else started to sit down at the table. Go ahead. Once everyone was seated, we started eating. Watching everyone eating together, it really felt like I had become their manager. Um, how do you like it? It's flavorful. I like it. Right? Uki, you're being annoying. But it's good. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not bad. I really like it. Really? I'm glad. It didn't seem like there was they were just saying it to be nice. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. Yeah, Mary! Uki had a huge smile on his face as he made a peace sign. Oh, you guys seem to be friends already. Yeah, yeah, we are! And Uki grabbed my arm like a little kid. My heart's pounding. Um, let's some race... Let's some rice omelette, shall we? Okay. Trying to forget about my heart pounding in my chest, I took another bite of the rice omelette. The play by the trial version becomes to hear. I didn't get to read the rest of that, but good lord. Let's some rice omelette. And then, uh, okay, so that's where it ends off. So I'm not going to buy the full version, obviously, because that would be a lot. Um, so we can only assume that after uh, um, after they all ate the rice omelets, it was really good. And then uh, uh, we kept being their manager, and we did a really good job. And the dude with the red hair never tried to do anything really creepy and never tried to steal the Magatama again. He kind of chilled out about it. And uh, then we had, like, a really successful show, and it was awesome, and they, like, really wowed the crowd. And then uh, after the show, uh, everyone went their separate ways, and when, uh, and we went back to, uh, oh, we, we went back to uh, uh, Uki's place with him. And then they did the smooches and stuff, and uh, then... The and everyone lived happily ever after. I don't know why I got so Now, he does He's definitely not the type. He's more of the... You know what I'm saying? Now, him with her is a bit, like, you know... Am I okay? I don't know anymore. You know what? I don't want to talk about it. Everything's good. We're done with this one now. Oh, God. Well, that was a thing. They went to play hide the salami. Exactly. Although, I just need to... <laughs> Zant is so... Con I, j I just need to... This, this one screen... Fox Ear is the band group of unique five Visual K member with each and one of the members put the Fox Ear. This is this is the ultimate takeaway from this game. This is what we got. I don't know, dude.
<laughs> oh, I was broken blind before this game came along. Oh, hey, look. That's when I caught this thing. <laughs> what else do I have in my freaking screen caps here? It's mostly Animal Crossing stuff. Well, that's fun. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm kind of done with this one, I think. Uh, I'll keep that one on there for now. This I'm done with. Oh, I might come back to that. I don't know. That was something. Let me see. What else do we have here? We got a little bit of time left. Let's see. Yeah, let's some rice omelet. That's uh, that was a hell of a thing. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time left, so I don't want to start anything that's gonna take up too much. Yeah, I can mm. I want to go back to no thing. Let's let's give this another shot. Let's see if we can get to the end of the first level in whatever the hell this is. No thing. We were playing this earlier, and uh, I will encourage people not to look directly into the screen here. I just, I, I got so close. It's literally just going left and right. I can do this, man. Oh, damn it! Oh! 79%. Not when he says turn left, damn it. It messes me up when I start over because it ends up going so fast later in that it feels so slow at the beginning. Oh, I don't like the red. It hurts my brain. Why am I doing this? I'm doing it because I want to see what happens if you get through this damn level. I just... It's got to be something crazy, right? Dude's not on my side. That's what he claims. I believe that much. Oh, 
anything too much. My boss. That girl. The huge sea. Full of man. I am. Turn and turn. Not so fast. <sighs> it's close. Oh god. I press one swipe. Your blood is rose. Buildings around us. One kill rose. But you do not know. Shine. Oh, damn it! Oh, shoot! Oh, 99%! 90... Strange. The air went bad. You do not want. And I have to stay. Look at your face. Look at your hands. Simple message. I am your stamp. The rebels are talking too much. Avast. That girl. Did you see? Full of man. I am. Turn and turn. Not so fast. Progress was like your blood is rose. Buildings around us. One kill rose. But you do not know how to shine. I turned left. Level two. Okay. Okay. Well. Level two. Turn right. Okay. How how much is this gonna test my patience? It is not the time. It is not the time? Excuse me? What in the hell is this game, man? The city is not sleeping. The city is gray. Scale your tears now. Oh. Or rather than war.
I can't tell if this is the most genius thing I've ever seen or the dumbest. I... Good lord. I have nothing for you to say. <sighs> Keep your head on the floor. Do not look into their eyes. Okay. Okay. No eye looking. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, goodbye. Oh, boy. All right. Let me try this again. Level two. Turn right. It is not the time. For your little... I'm... S Ugh. This has got me curious now. Like, is this going to be, like, some, like, profound, like, artistic ending that makes me question the nature of existence by the end of it? Or is this just a weird, the dumb game that went on sale for a cent, and now I'm, like, obsessed with understanding some deeper meaning that's not there? Ah, it is very much a one more attempt kind of yes at, that is a hundred percent what this is like if nothing else that's what it is it's like damn it let me try it again because the thing is like you know how some games like you mess something up and you're like like you lose or whatever and you're like i don't know what i i don't know what i did wrong i don't know what i could have done differently this sucks i'm mad like you know, that kind of thing. This game is the exact opposite of this because literally all you do is turn left or turn right. So if you lose or fail, you know exactly what you did is because you, you didn't hit the right button at the right time. And chances are just by seeing what happened, like you know in your head what the right button at the right time would have been. So you're like, oh, well, I'll just not make that mistake again. So it's very much that kind of thing it's like i can do this because yes you can you can do it obviously anyone can do this you just need to focus up and like hit everything with the right timing but good lord it's tricky the flashing colors are not helping i like the music in this one better this one's a bit more chill though i feel like the Level one was actually more stressful. Oh god, that oh I don't like that one. Don't like the color. Scale your tears now. Fly rather than walk. Oh shoot! Oh, oh well I messed that up. Alright, alright. I'm just I kind of like this, I think. It is not the time. I think I like this game. For your little... I kind of like this game. Reminds you of a Sonic special stage. A little bit of that, yeah. But there's something about, like, the simplicity of the controls and the graphical style combined with the just absolute freaking madness of every- Oh, sh Oh! I use the, uh, you can use the control stick to turn. I didn't even realize it. I wonder if that would be easier. I've been using the triggers the entire time because that's how it tells you to do it. I wonder if it would actually be easier with a control stick. I'll try it here. The city is not sleeping. 
easier to do it like really quickly and kind of uh the thing that's easier with the control stick is to like reorient yourself quickly Yeah, that makes me want to reorient it more, which is probably not the way to do it. I'm going to try to stick with the buttons for now. The triggers. I might need to... Uh, look up a playthrough of this or something after just to see what the frig happens in this game because i'm so curious but i don't know if i have the patience to play through it scale your tears now fly rather than walk ah dang it okay i'm gonna give it actually one more try is this what led lsd is like i can't say from first-hand experience but i wouldn't be surprised this is uh it's pretty trippy Oh shoot. Ah, dang it. I don't know why that I reminded you that you forgot to wash your hands. Oh dear. Alright, well I think this is where we're going to have to end off with it. Uh, for now. Uh, am I going to come back to this game at some point? Probably not. Probably not. We'll probably do fresh stuff uh, starting, uh, or starting next month, but uh, next, next, month, next month's demos and discount stream. We'll probably start with some fresh stuff. Hey, buddy. Um, but yeah, as for uh, the other streams, uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me, by the way. Uh, as for other streams, we're going to continue doing Genshin Impact on Wednesdays. On uh, Saturday next week, we'll be back with more Breath of the Wild. We're doing the uh, Ballad of the Champions DLC in that. And uh, Sunday next week, we'll uh, we'll get back to more so, uh, some more X-Men Legends. Because we've been making our way through the first X-Men Legends game. Uh, yeah, but of course, if you want to uh, know what the schedule is ahead of time, if you want to know when I'm going to be streaming, then be sure to join me on the Discord or follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can get a Discord invite by putting exclamation point Discord into the chat. And of course, on Twitter and all the other, like Instagram, all the other places, I am Mary Marvelite over in those places. Also, be sure to check out the, uh, the new YouTube video, which is up right now, all about the origin and history of Emma Frost, the White Queen and one of the X-Men. So be sure to watch that video, check it out if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share it on social media, and uh, if you really like what I do and you want to support me, uh, you can support me on Patreon as well. For only a dollar a month, you can get a golden name in the rank of Mighty Avenger over on the Discord server. Zant, you see me right now? I am nailing this self-promotion stuff. This is great. But, uh, yeah, of course, all that stuff is optional. I just appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. You guys are awesome. I'm going to see who we're going to raid tonight, because we always like to uh, pass on the love to someone else. Uh, let's see. Who is... Oh, good lord. Pib is playing Umbrella Core. Which is uh, a notoriously terrible game that... Uh, Yeah, okay. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Queen Pib, Queen Pib is a retro variety drag queen streamer who uh, does a uh, a wheel thing sometimes. She has a uh, uh, she has a wheel where uh, if you uh, once like every ten subs, she'll spin the wheel and it'll be like it'll either give it, give out a gift sub or do like a random marbles or something like that. But there's a one percent chance that uh, uh, if it lands on a specific thing she'll stop the show dead 
and switch over to Umbrella Corps, which is a legendary, legendarily terrible Resident Evil spin-off game. And it looks like that has happened. Queen Pib is playing Umbrella Corps right now. So uh, we'll go over and say hi to her because she is awesome and deserves loving and vibes. I'm going to get this raid going here. I do have the raid command as well. Da -da -da. If you are subbed, you can copy this message and it'll look like this. And if you are not subbed, then you can unlock those emotes with channel points, or you can just uh, yell Merry Raid and use whatever heart or wave emotes you want to use. But thank you guys once again so much for joining me. And until next time, true believers, Excelsior!